This is no normal zombie. That man has been infected with a new strain of the mustard virus. But unlike previous strains, this one, this one is far deadlier. While this man may be a slow idiot, he is extremely contagious. You see, one, one, one single touch from a man like this, and he'll infect me with the mustard virus. Oh, and here's the thing. I disabled the cure. One hit from one single zombie will kill me. And it won't just be this man. No, there'll, there'll be a lot of this man. Thousands of this man. And you know what they won't do? They won't despawn. Once, once they spawn, they're there for good. Don't go away. And these things are just gonna keep coming and coming and coming for me. They will they will not stop till they get to me. Oh, look at that. Forming a little, little zombie uh, ladder thing to climb up on anything they want. Hey, that's good. Can't wait for that. I'm gonna try to survive 100 days in a hardcore zombie apocalypse where one single touch from one single zombie will kill me. This is going to be the most difficult thing I've ever done in one of these videos. I genuinely don't think I'm going to survive 100 days in this. So, do you think it's possible? She does not think it's possible. Hey, one last thing. If you want your skin to be a zombie walking around, make sure you subscribe, all right? Because in a future video where I can do some, some cool stuff, hey, it's going to be you walking around. You can take a nice bite out of me. Okay, here we go. 100 days in a contagious zombie apocalypse. Okay, day one, I got the absolute best spawn a man could ever ask for. Yeah, just smack dab in the middle of the ocean. This is gonna be the worst spawn I've ever gotten. Oh, look. Just a nice 20 minute swim and I'll be on land. Who, why would the game put me out here? Oh, look, iron, it's good to know. Oh, a lot of it. Oh, oh, you're on, okay. What is that? Look at my skin. Albert Einstein? With blood on his sweater. Like a walking... This is not This is not an island, this is ships. What is this? Oh, great. Oh, okay. I'm gonna die. There's <laughs> walking dead's water zombies. Oh, they're throwing... They're hucking things at me. What world am I in? Hello? Okay, there's a, there's a zombie on the ship, so... Okay. Okay, the, all, the, the, all the ships are infected. You, just, you hear that on the ship? You just go, you pick another ship. There's a, there's, a, there's a child overboard. What a start this one has been. There it was. Just a man on some boats. I mean, to be honest, I was not expecting to do this at all in this, but yeah, you know what? Sometimes a man ends up on a boat on day one. You gotta just do what you gotta do. I've always thought that a, a boat might be a good place to hold out in a zombie apocalypse. Just kind of sail around. So I was thinking about just staying here. Oh, some food. I was getting worried about that. Oh, thank you. I'll take it all. Okay. There you go. Buried treasure map. I'll take that. You know, I'll take your feathers too. And the paper probably is useful. I don't know why I always take your barrel. The rest of these barrels. Yeah, I don't need any more buckets of water. Thank you, though. It's the weirdest start I've ever had. Raw cod. Take it. The captain. Oh! There we go. Amazing start. We got some Look at this! A little cage down here. Got some meat. The blow deck. Oh, ho, ho. this one from being real bad to real good. Just as long as there's land in this world, that's one thing I'm worried about right now. I'm in a world with no land. They steal a bed. I'll just do one of these. Okay, I need to get that open, so I need to. Oh, probably not the best use of my initial iron, but whatever. The good stuff's back here. Is we're going to get the treasure. Oh, oh, ho, oh. Oh my god! Look at that diamond already. Iron. Oh my god. The bone. What? This is a man who is truly lucky. Look at all this iron I got. Take the gold. Take this. I don't want the nuggets. And I will take whatever this is. 
block of raw gold. You guys got sea sponges? I'll take them. This boat was absolutely worth it. Got a little smoker here, eh? Let's get some food cooked up before I leave. My first day on a beautiful boat. You guys are, what are you gonna trade? You're all gonna trade me the most useless stuff known to man, right? What about you down there? They're all fishermen. Probably someone good up there, right? That child. Oh, he's jumped in after his kid. Go get him. Yeah, he saw. He's like, Papa, you came in the water with me, Papa. You should not have gone in the water. It's dangerous out here. But Papa, I saw shinies. What am I doing right now? Focus on that. Don't ever do that again. Okay, I need to get my food. I need to get off this out of this boat world. One thing you gotta know about me. What is this? Oh, fast food blow deck. I don't like boat world. All right. A little bit more meat. I got my meat, I got my bread, I got my, oh, I should make armor, what am I doing? Oh! Most important parts first. Oh! Albert Einstein, still got a little bit of blood on the face. It's all right, I got everything I need now. Did I not take that sword? I didn't, I'm down. Looting too, I'm gonna be, I don't even know, I don't even know baked potatoes too. This is the best start I've ever had. Just eat some cookies to celebrate. Okay, cookies don't really fill you up, do they? What's the point of these? Alright. No, oh, I'm taking the smoker too. This thing, this thing cooks good. Okay. Or should I spend a night on this boat? I think I, I think I should sleep here before heading out. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend one night on this boat. Should I go check out one of the other boats? What's that? Oh, God! He swam far. Here's zombies. You jumped off your boat, probably shouldn't have done that. This this boat right here is <gasps> what is all this? Blast protection. I don't I don't need any of that. I'll take all this though. This boat, you get stuck on this boat, you feel bad for you. That is the boat you want to be on. You get put on this one, you think, well, what did I do to get on this boat? Oh, a little more iron. Good day so far. I am feeling good. Oh, it just keeps getting better and better. If anyone gets a... Okay, it's time to sleep. Stop sleeping on this boat. Don't care. I'm worried about nighttime. There's iron down there. Should I swim down and get that? No. Why would I swim down for two pieces of iron? Maybe I should. It's three pieces, not two. You gotta be a real idiot to go down and get something like that at night. Nope. Yeah, about 25 seconds after saying a comment about who got who would sleep on the what am i saying i slept on the little boat okay it was me day two absolutely beautiful morning i spotted land time to leave is that land over there oh -ho! as they say land ho i was extremely worried i wasn't gonna look at these guys they're saying i'm going on foot they're all leaving i'm leaving the ships for better for better I got tired of living on that one ship all right, here it is. The land of forgotten truce. Okay. Land of the forgotten truce. That's got to be one of the worst names I've ever... Co okay. Anyways, yeah, here I was. I, I sailed up to the land of the forgotten truce, pretending to be Albert Einstein. I'm Albert Einstein, and I'm here to study the world of zombies. Stop. I'm not doing the Albert Einstein thing. Robert's not even here. Look at this. This is beautiful. Now, as I sail in here, I'm just... I'm, re I'm hoping hoping that the zombies are going to spawn. I, I just saw one spawn and then despawn. And... Oh, okay. It works. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's working. They're rising up from the from the ground. The spookiest zombies there are. Graveyard zombies. Stop. <gasps> Ruin nether portal. I wonder what treasures I can find. Stop with the Albert Einstein thing. Hey, you know what? If you are an Albert Einstein fan, why don't you go ahead? And subscribe for Albert Einstein, right? Like, leave a comment saying, I loved Albert Einstein in season three of The Walking Dead. This is so, just get on with it, okay? Usually in these sorts of videos, I, I look for somewhere that looks nice to build. But that's not what I'm doing here. I'm looking for somewhere safe. I, I care far more about being safe than I do having it look nice, all right? A man needs to, a man needs to be safe and secure. Not living in a modern house and s security is top priority, right? And before anyone asks, as a rule I made for myself, I'm not doing a floating house or a lava moat, all right? I, I didn't see Rick Grimes 
surround the prison with lava, all right? This is realistic zombies, okay? Versus Albert Einstein. This is... Yeah. So anyways, I fought my first zombie. Oh! Oh! What is going on with the... What's going on with the sword here? What does the sword look like? Oh! 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 Okay. They're slow right now. They're very, very slow right now. They have a ton of health, but they're slow. Okay. Okay. That was close. Oh, they're coming! They're coming out of the ground everywhere. Oh no! Is that a baby one? No! 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 You're supposed to be banned. You are supposed to be banned from this. The fox. They keep moving. I have a bed, right? Right now, I can like stop. I can eat my bread. Look at that. Right now, the zombies are very, very easy to deal with. Just as long as I keep moving. Nothing bad will happen. But I can't keep moving forever. I need to stop eventually and hunker down somewhere safe. At the top of my list of places to try to hold out in a zombie apocalypse, Small Island is at the very top. First of all, you know for sure there's no zombies on it. Second of all, no zombies are going to get on it because it's surrounded by water. What are they going to do? Swim? I mean, zombies can't swim. No way. Number three, you can see all the way around you. So if someone, other survivor tries to sneak up on you, you're going to see them coming in their little boat. And lastly, if you do need to get away, just get in your boat and go. With the boat, you don't got to worry about roadblocks or trees falling on the road or it's just, it's just peace. A man on a boat. So that's what I was going to do. I was going to look for a small island that I could fortify, at least for now, until I find the prison. Tonight though, I just, I just, I found this small peninsula and set up some torches and made some meat and slept here. First thing I'm setting up, my smoker. Throw some coal in there and I'm going to throw in some, I don't have anything to cook. Oh, some fish going. I'm going to take my little bed, go down right here. Say, wow, what a world I'm in right now. Beautiful biome, beautiful start, beautiful man. Albert Einstein with a bloody shirt. And I just, I just heard another zombie spawn. I hope it's not on this island. I hope it's, I hope it's somewhere else. Yep, I'm hearing them spawn. Okay, sun go down. I want to sleep. What do you mean you can only sleep at night? This, this is night. This is nighttime. This is a spooky night for Albert Einstein. Monsters nearby. See, that's what I'm afraid of. And this floating sword is freaking. There we go, sleeping. In the morning, you know, you'll, you might notice that my cool sword is gone, right? Why is my cool sword gone? I'll tell you right now. It's because I removed the better combat mod because I did not like the look of the floating weapons or the floating arms option the mod also had. This was not, it was making me feel sick. And when I removed the mod, uh, it also removed the sword for some reason. So uh, I had to use the only weapon I had, which was a wooden ax to get rid of the zombie that nearly bit me. And this is around the time that it started to hit me that this was... This whole thing is going to be kind of tough. One single bite, and I'm a dead, dead man. I'm just like deeply uncomfortable right now. Oh, I hear someone coming. I just saw one spawn. So I made a sword and shield as fast as I could, and I got in a boat, and I set sail looking for a small island. It had to be perfect, all right? I wasn't going to settle for just any island. All right now I'm thinking about if this was real, how scared I would be. I mean, I'm scared in this right now. I would be way more scared than one of these floating barrels. These things are good. These are like little gifts. Little gifts you find. Oh. Getting full on stuff, though. Oh, look at these. A big find. I've been sailing for so long. I'm trying to think there's no land ahead here. I'm literally just browsing on my phone right now. You can see the sun setting. I'm starting to worry that there's nothing out here. Hey, just love watching that sun go down. Man out on the water. Sailing for like seven minutes at this point. I'm, I'm really starting to doubt that there's anything out here. <gasps> What's that? It's just another one of the floating things. What's that? What are these? 
What is that? Land! What is that right there? Okay. Avoiding that. There it is! Oh! That's a little house out here. I'm glad I didn't go in there. And after uh, 10 minutes of sailing, this looks exactly like where I was. There's no one here, just sleep real quick. After spending like six minutes in a boat, I knew I did not want to spend, spend my days on a boat, all right? I was getting very bored of being on that boat. So now that I was on land, I started going on foot. And you know what? It did not take me long to find it's a beautiful sight. Oh, good. Some rain. I was just thinking I was, I was hoping it was gonna rain soon. Some like gushy boot sound. Oh, look at this stuff going on over there. It's a lighthouse. This is cool. Hello, everyone. I might just have to stay here for a few days. Ooh. I'm getting lucky. Oh. More cookies. I'm kind of worried these guys are infected. This lighthouse and smaller house were on a small island. It was close to the shore, but there was still a considerable amount of deep water between the mainland and the small island. I'm starting to think, you know what, this place might work. Let me look around a little bit longer, get a feel for it and see, because this, this just might be the island while I look for the prison. So I started to loot the island and I found some food, a bunch of emeralds, which might be useful if I can somehow stop these villagers from getting bit. But more important than that, right now I needed cobblestone to try and at least build some sort of barricade around the island or something to stop the zombies from swimming up. And it was getting kind of scary because I decided to mine on the mainland next to this raised hill thing. And as I was mining, I realized that a zombie could just drop down from above me and one single hit and this whole thing's over. So uh, I'm a little bit more stressed out again thinking about all these possibilities. And a man, and a man getting a little, little bit worried. But I got some cobble and I came back uh, and I made a furnace, got some food cooking and just stayed in this little house. While I was cooking the food, I looked around the island a little bit. This little island's not so bad. Since I knew I was going to stay here for a little bit longer now, I went out and got some dirt. I wanted to tackle food right away. And this time, the farm was going to work. If you watch any of my other videos, you know that me and farms, for some reason, they just never work. But this time I was going to do what I had to do if I didn't even go learn how to code. I was going to make the farming work. So I got a bunch of dirt and I very carefully killed a zombie, came back and made a farm along the coast of the island. I like making farms like this now because I think they, they just look a little bit nicer than just square plots. I don't know. I woke up the next morning and I saw that there were zombies on the island. That, that wasn't my favorite sight to see in the morning, right? They shouldn't be on here. I don't know how they're getting on here, but uh, I will figure that out soon. Hopefully sooner than later, because that's a huge problem. I wanted to plant potatoes, and I remember there was some in the lighthouse, so I went through it again, and I found a bunch and brought them down to the farm. I planted about 12, then I used bone meal to multiply them, uh, and then I did this until I could fill in all 64 blocks. Right, there we go. Big long beach of potatoes. I need to find a way to make this beach waterproof is the only thing. I think it's going to require a lot of dirt or something. It's like, look, my only defense right now is this guy. With the farm out of the way, I needed, I wanted to tackle the zombie spawning on the island problem because that, that was a huge problem. Way bigger than food. Don't know why I didn't start addressing that right away. So I wanted to make torches to light this place up, both to hopefully stop zombies from spawning uh, and also to make the farm work at night because I still kind of don't know how farming works in Minecraft, but yeah, I, yeah, I'm assuming you need light for these potatoes to grow. But as I was planting torches down, I was starting to realize that uh, I don't, I don't know if this is going to work because the way this mod pack is set up, zombies spawn in daylight. The light level doesn't matter. So putting torches down, I, I don't know if this is going to, I don't know. And even if it did work, the zombies in this mod pack are attracted to light. So all I'm doing here is just setting up a giant beacon for them to come to from the forest and the fields and they can see from very far away. I, I, was, I wasn't really thinking this thing through. So then I started to think more about building a wall around the island. And just as I was starting to consider this, I noticed that one of the villagers had been bitten. That one was infected. He's infected. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're okay. You, my friend. I need to go to quarantine. I want to see if he's actually infected. I don't even want to touch him. 
He, know, he, he knows I'm trying something here. All the box I just spent all this time getting. I'm gonna see if this man turns. I could not trust this infected man. Hey, we'll, uh, we'll check in on this man later. Tell you right now, it does not end well for him. It was not good. But you know what rhymes with good? Wood. That was so stupid. Stick to the script, right? Don't try to improvise. I needed trees. No, I needed wood. I didn't need trees. See, I'm already going off script again. I needed wood. I wanted to go mining and I didn't want to have an open hole. I needed a door to protect the mine because my greatest fear was some infected stumbling man coming down the little staircase that I make and just touching me and ending this entire run. So I wanted to have a door up there to at least block the sounds or the light or something. Or I, I don't even know if they can break down door. I just wanted a door there. The entrance to my mind make me feel a little bit more safe. I don't know. To get wood, I, I didn't want to go out and look for it, but I realized that the floorboards in the house that I was staying in were made from logs. So I just mined those all up and then converted them into planks and put those down and boom, still got a floor and I got a lot more wood now. So that's called a man being resourceful, trying to get out of a sticky situation. Next, I need the ladders because I was going to make the entrance to the mine in this little statue thing that was outside the lighthouse. I figured I'd put a door in the front of it and dig down like five blocks and then use ladders to get down in that hole and then start digging my little staircase down. I mined down for a while and I found quite a few caves. Normally, I'd be just running straight into these caves, but I didn't want to take any risks because, oh, well, yeah, I come around one corner, I see a horde of them and that's it's over for me. So I was trying to play it safe, but also at the same time, I kind of couldn't help myself and eventually I did go into one of the caves and uh, crank my audio up, sort of listening very carefully, uh, listening for a man on the other side of a wall or anything like that. And when I heard that it was nothing, I carefully mined out some iron, got some coal, and kept going. Okay, get this and I get out. It almost sounded like they were mining there for a second. I, I hope they're not mining. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what mods I have installed. Oh, that is not good. They're just raising up right in the sand in here. See that? That makes me worried about the whole, whole thing I'm doing. It was the next real life day, and I had just woken up from a nice, brisk four hour sleep to continue playing Minecraft. I had a dream last night that I sailed away from here and that long, that long sail I did was away from this lighthouse. What are you doing? How are you on my island? Stay, stay in the water. That's where you belong. Go for a swim. Ooh, spider eye. Nope, not worth it. So, what's my haul looking like? I really didn't get... That much cobblestone. I thought I got more than that. I guess I used a lot of it. Look at this, I got nine diamonds. Now you think a man a man would use the diamonds to build armor? I'm realizing this armor is just completely pointless. Hey, you might be wondering, hey Sean, taking that armor off. Why are you doing that? Oh, very simple, because I realize whether I'm wearing armor or not. I'm going to get infected if one of these zombies touch me. And the sound of that gushy boot clomping on the ground every time I took a step was starting to drive me crazy. Not only that, more importantly, if I wasn't worried about armor, I could focus entirely on weapons and tools. I could use all the stuff that I was getting, like those diamonds that I just found, and not feel guilty about making a cool sword right away. And yes, I know hypothetically, if you wear, were wearing a suit of armor and a zombie were to bite you, they would be biting armor and it would protect you. But you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't work here in the mod pack, right? And plus now you can see Albert Einstein a little bit more. So it's good. Make you feel smart watching this man. And speaking of geniuses, I too am and was a genius because I realized that if I want to fight these zombies effectively, I was going to need a weapon better than a regular sword. I needed something that had a little bit of reach to it to keep these zombies back from biting me. And that's exactly why I installed a weapons mod. The only thing is, is that to use it or use any of the weapons and craft them, you gotta go through a bit of a process to get them. First of all, you need blacksmith plans. And to get those, I need a weaponsmith trader. So uh, that's what my main focus was on. But first I wanted to check on the infected man. You gotta be, he's dead. Look at that. Just flush. Okay, get inside. I don't know where you've been staying and how, you need to get inside your house. 
Where are you going? Is there another door out back? No, you're just going a really weird way. Hey, we can we can live together. That's fine. Just stay safe. This man died in prison. Okay, I needed wood, so I went out to get wood. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, baby, I don't mess with no babies. Somehow that guy slipped through the game rules. There's a, there's a game rule in place that explicitly says no babies. And what do I see? I see a little baby chasing me. It's been like 45 minutes trying to figure that out. Looked like it was working. So it's so scary how they're just, they're just not there. Then you turn around and then they're there. I'm going to need to farm chickens. I shouldn't kill these chickens. I'll just kill two of them. That was dumb. I shouldn't have killed any. You know why? I'm going to need cows. I should farm these cows. I shouldn't kill them. Why am I killing the cows? Stop killing the cows. I'm going to need these guys. I'm going to find that prison. So I don't even know how long I'm going to stay on this island for. I picked the island with not a single tree around. What is going on there? <gasps> Whoa! Okay, I need a tree. I need wood. This is crazy. Somehow I picked an area with not a single tree. No trees for me. That's what they say. Just a bunch of zombies who are going to start raising up out of the grass. Yeah, like right there. Touch that guy, I'm dead. It's over. And there he is, just popping up out of the grass. Where are the trees? Look how many chickens there are. This is crazy. Everything's already harder. Oh, God, it scares me. There's so many chickens over here. Is that a tree? Nope, just a bush. Remember when I had a sword that had looting on it? Man, that would be good right now. How far do I have to go to get a tree? This is crazy. I need a tree. I need trees. You ever seen that movie, The Lorax? Can't really remember what the plot is, but I know it involves trees. I feel like I feel like either the Lorax or the guy who the Lorax doesn't like right now. I can't remember if he's the guy who likes trees or doesn't like it. Something about the Lorax, right? That joke's gonna make no sense. I said, I wouldn't even classify that as a joke. It was just stupid. Okay, I don't, now I don't know how to get back. And the sun's going down. And if I'm not back and the sun goes down, guess, guess what also goes down? Me. Man goes down. Just shut up. Just get find a tree. What do you mean find a tree? There's no there's no there's not a single tree on this island. There's just probably gonna be like a horde tonight or something too. At least I'm getting feathers. How is there no trees? I saw that thing, the grindstone, I thought easy, easy to make that. Well, it'd be easy if I had a tree. I don't even know if I'm going back the right way right now, which is stressing me out. Because this doesn't look right. Oh my god. What is it? Wait, I had wood, didn't I? Didn't I put it in the chest? Yeah, but that's not enough. I, I don't know if I can stay. I need a sapling. Can I, like, generate a sapling from wood? I'm gonna come back. My entire island's just gonna be infested. Hey, guys, I'm home. Let's set up some more torches. I saw some guys growing out of here, so let's... I can find a way to get inside with this guy now. That's how. All right, listen to me. You don't have a job right now, that's good. Okay, do I have wood in here? Nope. Nope. Okay, my wood is somehow gone, so it looks like we're gonna be using these. I'm real desperate, okay, I'm gonna sleep. In the morning I realized that I'm the dumbest man alive, complete opposite of Albert Einstein, because I had tons of wood all along. I, in real life, I don't look, when, I, when I'm missing something, I don't look for it properly. In game, exact same thing. Just right in front of me, don't see it. So I made the grindstone and I got this man to work. I had to buy a ton of axes before my first blueprint showed up. It was for a, either a broadsword or a dagger. I think they both showed up at the same time. This is what they look like when you open one. And you can't do anything with it like this. You need to make an armorer's table now. The only problem was that now to make the armorer's table, I need a red carpet. And to get red carpet, you need red dye. And I learned it's it's pretty easy to make. You just need red flowers, beets, pot poppies, anything red basically. So I went out looking for red stuff, specifically beets first. Hey, wandering trader, what do you got? 50, 50 for the, I had one of these. Oh, you are, you are crazy. Uh huh, I am crazy, I'm a wandering trader. Don't ever do that again. Okay, red dye, red dye, I'm looking for like a red flower. Oh my god, there's zombies everywhere. Yeah, there's... I don't like having to go out here. Getting low on food here. Or low on... 
<gasps> there's, there's been there's trees right here all along. There's a whole forest here, okay. I'm dumb. I'm seriously dumb. Okay, oh yeah, there's my boat, I arrived here. Okay, I hope, I hope the forest goes this way. Regardless, I'll have to plant some stuff. This is just it, this is all the trees I got. I mean, this will work, but man needs more trees and was this, like five trees? Okay, there's a lot, there's a lot, clearly a lot more than five trees. Oh! Oh! Oh. A lot of chickens, which I like. Okay, a lot of trees now, too. This is good. How do I get red dye? Wait. Beets. Beets. Hold on, I have a theory. Red dye. Beet. Beetroot. Hey, a spider! I didn't even know you could spawn. Good to see ya. That's good. That's excellent news. Alright. For some reason I didn't bring an axe. Beets. I think I think I have beets, had beets, or know where beets are. Or more likely, I probably <sighs> a lot of zombies spawning. A lot of zombies spawning. Okay, what I need to do is I need to find those beetroot seeds. Okay, where the beetroot seeds a bowl. Pick the emerald. What what is that guy slugging down over there? There's fish. Oh, and I mean, I'm happy to take it, but... There's a bit of a situation in the morning with the uh, iron golem getting stuck underwater while uh, the zombies were on the island. Get out of the water. Are you stuck? This guy can walk on water for some reason. That's odd. No! No, 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 no. You can't sink. You can't sink. You gotta go up. You gotta go up, you gotta go up, you gotta go up, 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 swim up, swim up. Oh my god, this is a disaster. Oh, I needed him on the eye. Oh, he's swimming. Oh, that was close. Okay, come on up. Stop going in the water. Come up this way. Just come up this way. I'm gonna bring the zombies to me. You need to come up. You need to get out of the water. Oh my god, the llamas are running away. Okay, come on. Stay away from me. This is way too risky. Just get the iron gold. There we go. Clean this place up. Don't throw him towards me. You, need to get, you get that guy now. Don't go back in the water. Understand me? Keep doing what you're doing. Don't go in the water. You, I don't, this is not a place for you. You're going to get whacked out here. Unless you've died for me. I didn't even think of that. You have blue dye. You know how insulting that is for a man like me? With my man safely back on land, told him don't, don't ever go in the water again. I need you walking around nonstop protecting me here. Uh, I was back out looking for beets. My plan now was to hopefully find a village that just had one of those gardens with a bunch of beets. They always have beets in those gardens. I never know what to do with them. Oh, I need red, I need red beet root. I need beets so bad. I got my eyes on for, ears on for zombies though. Oh man. Why is there just an ax right here? Ooh, ooh, I don't wanna go that way. Why does it have to be red carpet? Why couldn't it be a different color? I'm like thinking back to when I was on that ship and I, I saw all the beetroot and I thought, who would ever use beetroot? It always happens. I always make some sort of big statement like that in my mind and then I, I learn very quickly. It doesn't even need to be beetroot. I would take I would take some flowers, some red. <gasps> Did I just see a red flower? What did I see? Why are they, why are they gonna be purple flowers? Oh wait, I can get, oh. Biggest. Brain move just happened. I can use the composter to get bone meal, and then I can use that bone meal on grass to get a red flower, and then I can use that red flower to get the dye. That is how I'm gonna do it. I don't know what's going on with this horse migration. These guys are really asking to become leather. There is a composter inside of here. Okay, so we need to start loading this thing up. Okay, wait, I got cookies. Will you take them? You will. They're bone meal. Okay. There's a red flower right there. Okay. You remember when I said I was the dumbest man alive? I'm the dumbest man alive and now including everyone who is dead. I'm the dumbest man alive and dead, all right? Because not only was this flower in here the whole time, I also had a ton of beats in my chest all along. Again, just stuff right in front of me, not even looking. Okay, there we go. I got this table. I'm going to put it right here. 
And I should be able to take the blueprint, which is the broadsword pattern, take it, put it in here, and then let's, okay, hold on, hold on. One, two. Okay, so this is in here, and then it said like this, boom, boom. Diamond broadsword. And the ability is grounded ability. What well, gives me a bonus against undead? Oh, look at all this. Diamond cutlass. A scythe, a sickle. Sweeping ability. Mace. Oh, bonus damage from fighting the dead. Okay, there it is. But we also want this. So I'm gonna... Don't make this yet. I realize making a broadsword right now might be a waste of the diamonds that I had. And uh, I might be better off making a longer weapon when I had the blueprint. In the morning, I added another mod, the, the physics mod, because I thought it would be fun. And uh, you know what? I was not disappointed. Okay, so I installed the physics mod. <laughs> and, and the, <laughs> the window blinds just broke. Look at that. It's just hanging on. Hey, look out. Look, they're just not working. What? There we go. Get, get up there. Oh, see what happens here. Oh, throwing them. Oh. Okay. He's throwing them. Oh. Everything good? Hey, look at this. I need more wood. Tons and tons of wood because I was going to use it to get emeralds from the weaponsmith. So I got in a boat and uh, I sailed over to the woods and started chopping down trees. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I thought that was a fairy for a second. I thought it was a fairy in the tree. When I got back to the lighthouse, I got the villagers to work. Huh, where are you? Hey, come all the way up. Where it's safest. You, I got something for you. You're going to love this. Here. Go on, go visit it. What is this? It's a table for you. Do you accept or do you decline? What are you doing? Where's the other guy? No, oh, you're coming up. I got something for you. Whoever comes up here, good prize. Come on up. Come up out here. What are you guys doing? Come on, go accept your... Oh, you're trying to get to it? Okay, here, I'll bring it around to you. This is very good. Here, become a Fletcher. How do I know who a nitwit is? Are you gonna... Are you, oh, here we go. Okay, you have everything I need right there. So let's make a ton of sticks. Get a ton of emeralds. In the morning, I went back to the forest to chop down more wood and things, things got out of hand very fast. Oh man, almost walked right in that hole. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, time to go. I get a little bit more wood. Oh, there's a lot of them in the forest. I guess he's moving fast. There's a running for me. Those aren't slow. Those are not slow zombies. Oh my god, there's a lot, there's a lot of them. Oh, it's because there's a horde. Oh, okay, I gotta go. What am I doing? Oh my god, oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay, that I got out of control fast. Oh my, oh, oh. Look at that. Little one, there's a little one. I'm gone. You see a little one, you just leave. Okay, little one rising up. Look at that. And they're not gonna stop chasing me, I don't think. Why, why do they gotta make that sound too when they come after you? Lost my boat. Popping up everywhere. The horse has got the right idea. It's hanging out right in the middle there. I didn't get that much wood from that. I need, I need more wood. Why is there ice forming right here? Why is it- stop forming! That's gonna close the channel. And my potatoes are gonna- My potatoes are gonna break! What's going on underneath- There's zombies underneath the ice! 
There's no look at all the There's so many zombies underneath the ice. Oh my god. Do something. Go! Use Earthquake, go! He's on a, he's on a Pokemon. He can't do that. Okay. Can they break doors? I think they can break doors. They can break can they break doors? Can they break doors? Oh my there's the horde is coming from the forest! How much ice do we have? Oh my god. You! Give me everything you got while you still while you're still in business. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be here for. Here. Give me everything you got. No no. I I offer you the stick. Wait, wait, no, I don't have the stick. Hold on. Oh, this is not the time to be doing deals right now, Sean. It's not business hours. Not business hours. Give me give me everything you got. What are you doing? Oh my god, there's did I, I didn't even get any of those emeralds. Well, I didn't get any of the experience with any of the emeralds. Oh my god, don't fall. Give me all that. What are you doing? You dumb! You're dumb! Why is that guy playing with his life like that? Give me the bow. That other guy, he's on his own. I don't know why he's climbing over barricades like he's Spider-Man over there. I didn't mean to yell, but I got I get stressed. What is that? You walk out the door and you hear a sound like that? This is, this is not good. Where are they? You hear the howls of a near- I just got a horde! Why am I getting two hordes in one night? I can't sleep then. Oh my god, they're under the water. They're under the water. You! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a long night. Oh my god, just don't, you don't forget them in here. Hey, hey, how's it going? No problems out there, everything's normal. Huh? Yeah, nothing's normal. No. Oh, dagger pattern, okay. Oh my god, do you hear that out there? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's not good out there. It's not good out there! Oh my god! Oh, he's, he's throwing the babies! This is, what's, this is what's freaking me out. I got, I got Davy Jones' crew about to m make landfall here. Oh my god, the sounds. It just sounds awful out there. We need more torches. Just give me 64, that's all I need. Everything else go back in the chest. Oh my god, we can't be having this. My potatoes are gone. I'm just gonna assume those are gone. <sighs> There's zombies right there. There's zombies right there on the beach. I should have made the walls. Oh, they don't even care about the torches. They're breaking through the ice now. What is going on? Oh, no. Where's the golem? I got cats. Where's the golem? Where's the golem? Oh, no. He's probably down. He's underwater taking, taking serious damage. He's underneath the ice. Oh my god, the race! Hey, everything's good out there, right? Don't even worry. Let's just do some deals. Oh, the right, the, the, the right at the door, the right at the door. The right at the door! They're gonna break down the door! Move, move, move! We don't need a door. Oh my god. Uh, that's whip pattern. I, I don't want to make a whip. Just give me this. Oh my god. What else he got? I don't have 25 emerald. They're still spawning. They're still spawning. I need to see what's going on out there. The golems. The golem needs to get out of the water. Oh man. He is fighting for his life down there. I know. I'm trying to get you out. He can't do anything down there. Yeah, he's trying. He's smashing them. He's taking care. He's taking care of Davy Jones' crew down there. Oh my God! He's got to get out of that ice. He's doing a good job. I need that man on the surf wall. Maybe he's just gonna throw zombies up here. Well, look, look what they're doing. They're going for the guys in there. Oh man, he's really going to town on those guys down there. Oh God! They just launched him. I gotta, I gotta break the ice and get him out. Okay, that's what I gotta do. How many zombies do I gotta... It's three zombies, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, wait, I can shoot them, I have a bow. Drop the ender pearl. I don't like you having that. Drop that ender pearl. There we go. Okay, I gotta get this guy out of there.
How do you break ice fast? Come out. Come out here. Not you, not you. Anyone but you. I don't want you coming out here. Come on out. Don't go back in there. Don't chase after him. Who cares about him? Stop going in the water. You're not a water creature. Oh my God, come out of the water. If I ring the bell, does he come? Come. What are you doing down here? Oh my God, why would you come down here? He's running, what are you doing? You are dead. It's over for you. Oh my God, it's over for me too if I don't, he's outside, okay. Oh, just take care of this one guy. Oh, don't, don't throw him at me. Okay, come on, this is, the, this is night is hectic. Oh, I'm safe in here. Just sleep, just, let's just get to day, what, what day was that? This island wasn't working for two main reasons. Number one, zombies were spawning on it, despite all of the torches that I had placed down. And two, the water channel between it and the mainland was starting to freeze. Temperatures in game were dropping. This is, this, I didn't realize this was such a cold biome. And all of this waterway would freeze. And when the waterway between the island and the mainland is frozen over completely, oh, not an island anymore. That is an extension of the land. So, not exactly ideal. So my next move was to try to get as many weapon schematics as I could, or blueprints, whatever they're called get as many arrows and as much supplies as I could from these two villagers and get out of here and just go down my list of top places to hold out in a zombie apocalypse. And this next place I have in mind, oh, I'll tell you right now, this is a, the, like, the impenetrable place. Absolutely perfect. But we will, we will get to that later. For now, I needed wood. So I went and got more wood and uh, nearly got tagged doing it. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, that was close. It happen. It can happen so fast. Look at this. When I came back, I sold the wood. I got emeralds and foolishly bought a whip pattern. I don't know what I was thinking buying a whip pattern. Why not whip the zombies? Okay, I guess I'll... Smite 3 is really good. I only have 18 emeralds. Okay, well, let's start with this. How do you make a whip? What are those things? What are those things? Are they nuggets? It's not a gold nugget. Iron nugget? No. Two, what? This thing doesn't... Break, well, attaching a team of walls to the whip. Well, what a... Wasted a, I'm not making a whip. He was also selling a diamond sword with a smite three on it. So I was thinking, okay, you know what? Maybe that would have been the better choice. Uh, but because I bought this stupid whip, I needed more emeralds now, though. The next day I went out, I got more wood, came back, made the trade for the emeralds, and then I bought the sword. All right, I'll take it. Let's try this thing out. I'm breaking three and... Look at this, they're literally raising out of the house. How does that make sense? I was just about ready to leave this area. I watch the sunset through a window with a broken shade. This man in my house. I mean, huh? Yeah, offer me bad stuff. That's what. But you know what? Day 14, not quite my last day because the next day I spent it uh, deciding what to bring and packing stuff up and throwing out all my trash and just organizing my inventory. And then I needed more wood because I didn't want to leave here without a bunch of arrows. Um, so I got some arrows, slept, and uh, the next day on day 15, I was a man in a boat leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye to everyone. I'm not coming back. Now we wonder, okay, Sean, my man, where, what is next on your list of beautiful places to stay in a zombie apocalypse? I'll well, tell you, a fire watch tower, right? Big, huge tower in the mountains that overlooks everything. Getting right up in that tower. Absolutely perfect spot. So to do that, I just needed to find kind of a mountain area with a bunch of trees that was not cold. Did not want to be in a cold biome. So I sailed for a while and eventually, like last time, got kind of tired of being in a boat and got out and went on foot. Oh, pumpkins. Yes. Oh! Right. Oh! Oh! 
Go, 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 go. Came out of the pumpkin batch. Get inside. I kept going and it seemed like I was in a slightly different biome now. The trees are looking bigger or more dense or something. And I'm starting to think, hey, this is looking okay. This might, place might be decent. Just want a few more hills and maybe a little mountain or two. I saw in the terrain generator that I used with this mod pack that there were some very attractive biomes to stay in in a zombie apocalypse. Big fields, some trees where I can put a nice big tower down and see all around me. Looked like a safe, a place that would be safe. I didn't want to be in such a dense forest like this. I'm not going to the nether. Rick Grimes never went to hell. Hey, unless he counts season eight, am I right? That was a that was a horrible joke. I ended up just sleeping in a gravel field by the ocean. Hey, I ended up sailing again. Except as I was heading out to the ocean, a storm rolled in. And the waves on the river were getting worse and worse. And then when I hit open water, they were uh, you know, much bigger waves out there. It's the man at sea. Nothing more, nothing less. Sailing to his fate. This man. You know, I'm not gonna say his name anymore, right? But you know who it is. It's him. I sailed for the full day before making landfall. Hey, look at this. The trees. They they fall down when you knock them down now. It's because I installed the dynamic trees mod. Should have should have put that in from the beginning, but uh here we are. I kept looking around and things were looking better and better. I, I noticed less ice more green and uh, some slight hills, but I kept going because I wanted much bigger hills that would, I don't know, I just, I just felt like it would be better to have big hills around. I walked and sailed all day long and eventually I found a town. I thought I was gonna spend the night here, but shortly after I arrived, so did a horde. Nope, that's, that is not good. It's near, whoa, look at this house. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no. Look at this guy, he's stuck in the tree. Oh, okay. That's a lot of them. Oh my god, that guy scared me the way he opened that door. Oh! That's a lot of zombies. Oh, they're coming in. Look at this. They're coming. Oh, they're they're taking over the village. Oh, okay, that's not good. There's so many of them. Oh, these these villagers are done. It's over for them. as soon as I showed up. This town is over. I think I'm safe up here though. Throw them up here. Okay, that's There's a lot of zombies. That guy's infected. He's just going to bed. All right, hey, have fun. A little one got up top. A little one was on the second floor. They're towering up! They're, they're towering up! They're towering up! They're doing one of the zombie towers! Oh my god! Okay, I gotta go. Oh my, there's, there's so many of them! Climbing the trees. Look how many are coming through the village. There's so many of them. Okay, I gotta go. That guy's infected. Oh, there's zombies everywhere. They're all over the village. What is this place? I'm gonna look at this. This is cool. Take a quick peek and then I'm going. I can't see anything that way. Okay. This is 
terrifying. Okay, this is not good going through the forest like this. Oh, it's okay. There should be spiders. Where are we? What is this? Does it got doors? You got doors? Where where are your doors? I can't run, I can't run, I can't run, I can't run. Where are your doors? I don't have armor on. Okay, at this moment I regretted two big things, two things on my mind. Number one, I, I forgot to, I, spiders were spawning. Spiders should not be spawning. I forgot to add them to the list of no spawn mobs. And the second thing was, why wasn't I wearing armor? Okay, I just, it, thankfully spiders didn't carry this zombie virus, so I wasn't infected, but I, I don't know. I just slept in the tree up here. Day 18, all right? I kept exploring and I was starting to find some really nice areas. Yeah, this is looking good. This is what I'm looking for, this sort of stuff. But I kept going, thinking that I might be able to find something just slightly better, a little tiny little bit better. I always get worried that when I spend so much time looking for somewhere nice to build, it's going to annoy people because, yeah, I, I don't know. But the thing is, is, I like doing this. This is one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is to explore. That's like half the reason why I like Minecraft. I also try to use different world generation mods every time. So I like exploring. Yeah, I like doing this, all right? It's fun for me. Like, look at this. I ended up going through a cool swamp and I slept on a river edge. Next day, just kept doing the same thing. Kept going, looking, 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 looking. The man with looking around. Yeah, this spot isn't bad here either. A lot of horses, which kind of creeps me out, but look at that. That is cool. I can't even see where the water, look at all the fish in the water. Yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just do it here. Look like right here. I know it doesn't make much sense to have a tower next to it. It should be like on the mountain. This Grand Canyon thing is just too cool. There's water down there. This area, is, if I didn't hate the savanna so much, this would be the perfect area. Look at these caves. Look at this. Beautiful lake. I'm gonna sleep right here. I felt like I was getting close to something that I liked. Uh, the the problem with the savanna though is that it's it's just too yellowish brown. I, I do not like this color palette. All right, you might 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 sound like I'm completely saying the opposite to what I said earlier about not not caring about where I built, just wanted to build somewhere safe, and now here I'm complaining about yellowish brown blocks. But you know what? I'll, I'll go crazy if I stay here. All right, need some green, so I just kept going. See, that doesn't look bad, but it's acacia wood. I hate acacia wood. Can't stand it. No, oh, let me touch the water. Don't go in the water. See you later. As I sailed, I came across another group of ships, and I thought for a split second that it was where I spawned, but it, it turns out it wasn't because it still had loot, including a diamond. Ooh, look at that one diamond. Turned that into a shovel. I got it, and uh, I was on my way. By nightfall, I found a birch forest, which was a good sign because I I don't know. This is this is a regular type of tree. This isn't like a desert tree or acacia tree. This is birch, and that means I I might 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 just find some spruce or oak nearby. Anyways, I just slept here. In the morning, just I hit the old trail, kept going, looking, and uh, things got a little bit a little bit strange. Look at this. What's this? What is this? Oh, this is looking good. Oh. Oh! Oh! The cave. Oh, it is getting dark in here. Oh my! Oh, okay! Oh! Okay. I think it's the biome. I just gotta. I think I'm on the right path here. I can tell because my frame rate is dropping. Oh, look at that. Oh my. God. This is good, but I'm getting five frames per second, so I'm going to keep moving here. How big these trees are. 
what is Oh, there's cobwebs. Kind of a kind of a scary place here. I don't know if I want to be in horror woods. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, it's sail down there. <laughs> okay. That was a vex. Yeah, exactly. So something that something I didn't I forgot even existed in Minecraft. This biome is just terrifying. I feel like humming the Luigi's Mansion theme right now. I'm just going through this. Is there a place that parasites would spawn? And I'm really hoping this river just leads me out of here. And a horde just spawned. No, it doesn't. I'm just leaving. <laughs> there's no way I'm staying here. <laughs> Look, there's... This is just a dangerous... What is that over there? See, I'm almost out. Okay, thankfully I'm out of there. Should go the opposite direction of that. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of forgot about the horde. Look at this. We're getting to mountains, tall trees. This is the type of stuff that I like. This is what I've been looking for. Now, if we could just get these birch trees to be spruce trees, well, we are in business. Oh, I thought those were spruce trees, so they're getting excited. Oh my god. I can't sleep. It's so dark. You can't. If you think you can't see anything, I can't see anything. There, the air is quiet. The air is quiet. Okay. Things were things were looking good. This, this area, it really seemed like I was on the right track here, right? If I could, if I could just find some spruce trees, ooh, I would be a man who'd be very happy, very, very, very happy. I think I saw a green leaf. There's green leaves right there. There's another green leaf there. And there's some hills here. <laughs> That's not good. Falling in a hole like that is not good. Right now, I have no blocks to build with. It's stressful. I see green leaves. Oh, is this? It's, a, <gasps> it's spruce. It's a spruce forest. And it's hilly. I heard a wolf too. And there's hills around it. Look at this. We're losing the perch is going away and the spruce is coming out. Oh, there's an entire spruce forest there. Look at this. I could make my Oh. This is it. This is the perfect spot for a fire tower. I cranked my view distance up and I looked out across the forest. This was it. This was absolutely perfect. This is, this is exactly where I was going to build. So I walked along the edge of the mountain and I found a spot and started chopping down trees. And look how satisfying this is. Then I heard a wolf barking and I thought, you know what? I'm going to take this man. Only problem was no bones. It was a man with absolutely zero bones. So for now, I just put him in a boat. But I got a, got a very good idea for this guy. So I spent the entire next day doing only two things. Chopping down trees and killing zombies. Killing zombies was good because it, it dropped bones. And I, I needed some bones to tame that dog. And after I got three, oh, as soon as I got three, I carefully got that guy out of the boat and uh, tried to tame him. There we go. Is that? Hold on one second. Now you might notice, hey, that doesn't that doesn't look like a wolf. That looks like a dog. And for a second, I thought it was the breed I was after, but but it wasn't. I, I realized I installed the wrong uh, resource pack. And I was focused on that. I almost got tagged by a little zombie. Then it started snowing, so I just went to bed. The next morning, I uh, fixed the resource pack issue. I got I put the correct resource pack in, and so now I have the dog that I wanted. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Come here. Do you know what that is? That's a boxer. Oh, no, 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 I'm 
sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Here, 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 here. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to get the. Where are you going? No, take this, take this. There you go. You're tamed, right? Yeah, okay, let's go. Get him. Trust me, you do not want a boxer chasing you down. Come over and start playing with him. Yeah, good. Take a look at this. You know what that is? That is a boxer, right? The, the absolute best breed of dog. I, I, I cannot even begin to tell you. I'm, I'm a man who is absolutely nutty for boxers, all right? I have one in real life. This is my man, Dasha, all right? I, I absolutely, I, ca I can't even begin to explain to you how much I love this dog. It's, the, the Dasha is, I love her. And realizing that now she's in the game, I started thinking this might not have been the best idea because if anything happens to this dog in game, uh, I... Well, there's a lot of responsibility to put onto a man. I, got, I just kind of got excited and did this without really thinking it through. <sighs> okay, so then I guess just kind of be very, very careful now. Anyways, I, I got back to work. I, I cut down a bunch of trees. I made some diamond tools and I killed a bunch of zombies. And then I dug a small four by four hole. In the morning, I added trap doors above the pit I dug. Uh, but before I could test them, a you know, bandit showed up. Those bandits. I don't have armor. There's a dead guy right there. Oh, there it goes. Where's the other guy? I have a shield, I'm an idiot. I lured some zombies into the hole and I realized that these these pits aren't gonna work. Come here. There we go. Perfect. What the? She jumped out of the pit. Close it then. Look at them. They're, they're trying to bash their way out of there. So I dug out the cliff face a bit and uh, I got ready to start building this watchtower. But there were a lot of zombies spawning now. I started building the tower by putting down some stone brick braces for supports. And I spaced everything out by 10 blocks so the base would be a, a 10 by 10. I always build stuff way too big, so I had to kind of dial myself back here and, and say, don't make it too big and don't make it too tall, okay? Keep it keep it reasonable here. So I got the supports up one by one, and I did that all while de dealing with all of these zombies. Sleeping with one on my body right now. I was getting absolutely fed up with the zombies. A lot of them were spawning, so I put up a fence and I got back to work and uh, I skinned the bark off of the supports to give the tower some contrast. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. I'm still kind of learning how to build stuff, but hey, you know what? Here's going to try this. And while this was all going on, somehow a zombie got over the wall. Oh, how did you get, th how'd you get across? Don't pay attention. What? Oh. I, just, I just went to bed. Now I need to get the side supports. And for some reason, this part really confused me. I was having a hard time wrapping my brain around how to best make these things look good. I, I got the, the first section done, but I couldn't decide if I wanted to redo the supports as barked spruce instead of stripped. And if this was too dark, if this was, I don't know. I was just think, thinking about this way too much. Look at this. Oh, no, no, close it. Close it. Close, whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyways, I just, I just kept working on this thing, trying to figure out what, what goes with what, where to put things, and just trying to get this thing up as fast as possible, not realizing that this is, these supports, not completely necessary, right? It's not like the tower is going to fall down if these are here or not, so I don't, I don't know why I'm spending so much time on these things. I don't like that. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh. Just, it's coming down. Oh, oh, God, it scared me. It was absolutely impossible 
to work under these conditions. It was day 29 and I was starting to realize that I don't even have like a safe place to go in the event of something happening. You know, if, there, if there's a horde, where am I going to go? I'm just going to have to run away from this whole area. So I need to, should, shouldn't worry so much about the support, like the cross beams or whatever. And just focus on getting like a bit of a platform built. Uh, but to do that, I was going to need some sort of light colored wood. Oh, birch might actually work. Let's go get some birch. So I went and got some birch, and uh, while I was out there, I, I also got some oak, just so I could see which one looked a little bit nicer. To be honest, I didn't even know that there were oak trees back here, but you know what? Hey, good to see these. Good. So I got them and uh, went back up the tower and tried out both colors. Which one looks nicer? I can't tell. I genuinely can't tell. Can't decide. I think the birch might look nicer. I always use oak and spruce. I decided on birch. I never use birch, so that's, uh, that's what I'm going to use. Hey, day 30. I worked on the uh, top platform. I made a bunch of... Uh, slabs and put them down but once I had the perimeter done I realized because they're slabs and only halfway up a block uh, anything I put down is gonna be floating on top of them I, I always do this and end up just making more work for myself for some reason I, for I forget you can't put something on a slab uh, I didn't like this so before I could really think about how to fix it though I realized there, there was a lot of zombies below me oh whoa oh oh Oh! They all got in. Well, why is there so many down here? Oh my god, they're everywhere. I have no torches too. I, I don't I don't know I kids. This is not good. This is really not good. I don't know where holes are on the ground. I don't know if there's a hole in front of me. Oh. That's not good. Look how many of them there are. How does this even happen? I was just... What I need to do is... Get my bed. That's crazy. The next morning, I, I figured out how to fix the slab issue. So I put down a lot of slabs here. If I have this all the way around, it's not gonna, it's gonna make the outside look thick, so I don't want that. Like the slab should be on the same level as this. It should be one below. Like that. But then I have this like, well, there's gonna be walls there anyways. Yeah, there's gonna be walls there, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just gonna lower all the slabs. Oh, it's gonna take a good thing to do the whole floor. That would've been really annoying. I'm gonna lose half of them down to the, the hoard. I should really go kill that horde. Look at the wandering traders. What were you thinking? The llama spitting on it. Look at the llamas just trying to fight back. It's not going to end well. Yep, there goes the llama. And they are there. Just con yep, they just consumed that. It took it. They took the lead even. He's now just going. All right, I'm. I'm going. I'm getting out of here. Like this is crazy. Look at his. Look at his body. The llama's still laying there, too. There's so many zombies down there now. And they're, they're, they just consumed the llama. Look at this man. Oh, you forgot about that. That man, that man in that llama, llama. Absolutely brutal watching that happen to him. And before I could really even think about it, it was about to happen to me, too, because I got a horde. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. It was already bad and there wasn't even a horde. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna keep building. Look how many more are coming, there's so many. They're coming from all over. This whole hillside is just, oh, here comes more, look at this guy. This guy the guy who got the lead. He's just leaving, he's like, hey, I got what I want, I'm going out of here. All right, see you later. Glad you got something. Look below me. They're climbing up. They're, they're making a zombie tower. How high can they get? I can't get all the way up here. It's getting kind of high. There's more. There's more. They're, they're climbing out of the... They're getting... They're getting up there. 
They're getting, they're getting high. I think, I'm, I think I'm okay though. But they're, but they're not gonna go away. That's the problem. I can't, I can't. What am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna have to lure them away. How loud they're gonna. Wait, but oh, I thought, the, I thought the bed was someone. I'm gonna have to lure these guys away. Cause other, they're not gonna despawn. They're just gonna keep attracting more and more zombies. Wait, they can use ladders, can't they? Where can I jump to without dying? Okay. No, nope, that's a mistake. Going this way is a mistake. Oh no. I can't go back up the ladder. Why can't I go back up the ladder? Oh! Oh, I'm starting to panic. Would I make it if I jump down there? I don't know if I'd make it. I don't know if I'd make it. I think I can survive that. Uh, I don't know though. I, wait, wait, wait. I'll come over here. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna funnel them all into here. Look at this. They're just knocking each other down. This is what happens when you ignore your problems. They're like eating each other. There's another wave. They're just they're coming. And now I can't even see them. I don't even know. My hands are still sweating. I know it seems like I'm safe, and I probably am, but I'm gonna need to lure these guys away. Otherwise, they're just gonna keep attracting more and 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 more, and more zombies. The air is quiet. Okay, I'm gonna try to sleep. I don't know if I can. Okay. Now, they should. Most of them should be away. This is the most dangerous thing I've ever done. Okay, go! I gotta lure them away and lose them. Okay, come on! Everyone! Let's go! Is there water down there? There's no water down there. Over the cliff! Oh my god, there's so many of them! Why, what's the, there's a village down here? No, 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 we don't need a raid, we don't need a raid, I don't need a raid on top of that, I didn't know there was a... Oh my... Oh my god, this is so bad! This is a huge village. I'm not going in there right now. Look at this, look at this! Okay, I'm, I'm sorry to everyone in the village, I have, I have brought terrible... There's bandits attacking the village now too, you know what? See you later. Oh! 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 This is not good. Okay, I think I lost him, but I, I don't know where I am now. Yeah, it's good. I walked the horde off into uh, a village. And the only reason why they stuck by that village was because uh, there were villagers in there for them to eat. So, uh, I guess it kind of kind of sucked to be a vill villager in that village today. Because you're, you're now done. When I got back to the tower, though, there were still a few stragglers, so uh, I took care of those and uh, got back to work. And I got the rest of the platform built. Not bad. I'm terrified of what's down in there right now, but... Okay, I needed two things now. Glass and more wood. So I set out to get both of them. This is crazy. I, like, the, the, the zombie spawning does not... Oh! Holy! That was so stupid! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, good start. Okay, I need some. I need wood, and I need. Oh my! Let's just go the opposite direction. I need sand too. I'm just gonna go down here. I'm gonna leave a string of torches so I know how to get back. And you know me, I love to get lost. I'm gonna get lost. I'm, pu I'm not putting these torches consistently. I'm just putting them randomly. I'm not even going in the direction that I. Th Thought I was going to be going. Where am I going right now? I thought I was going down to the water from where I came from. This was a bad idea. I'm out of torches. No, just turn back because this is this was dumb. Yeah, that line of torches I put down didn't. I've already lost them. I knew as I was putting them down, it was going to be bad. I gotta. Why do I always get lost? I'm lost again. I at no point did I come through the birch fort. Ooh, I need those. I need those. Straight right there. Worth it. It's worth it. I need them. Okay, I was here before. I cut down birch. Okay, I know where I am. That must be where the water is. I think. I don't know. Wait, I don't know where I am. Oh, wait, I've been here. I need water. I hear water. Okay, well, I need sand. Okay, there's the mountain. So I kind of do know where I am right now. So as long as I head this direction and then return in this direction, I should be okay. That looks like water there. This is dumb doing this. I'll get these all on my way back. I'm gonna have sand. 
cool! Gotta do everything so quickly. I need coal too. Oh, I can make coal. I coal really easily. Oh, okay, I gotta go up the big hill. Remember I said I was gonna get the birch? Find it. There it is. Climb this big hill. <laughs> There's just a guy walking around it. Like, look. I'm not even there anymore. And they're just walking around. Okay, that was really dumb. I didn't I didn't know I was going to fall through the tree. Okay, beautiful. Now, we can do everything we need to do here. Boom. Move this over. Boom. Getting iron has been so tough. It, it, it's very difficult to mine and it's not safe to go looking in mountains for it because it's you only get a little bit and you got to cover a lot of ground. However, I did now have enough to build an iron golem. And this was going to be huge because this man was going to protect me while I built. So I made an iron golem and oh well, good. We're employing a man here. That guy's going to take care of everything. He's going to, if they get over, he's going to deal with them. You and I don't got to worry about anything. Oh, don't you don't be throw he's throwing the zombies at me. And for the about 30 seconds that I had this man, it was good. It was pure peace. Peace in all the world. I was working and he was fighting. And then when I went to go check on where he was, uh, he was gone. So I went to go look for him. He's just he is just completely gone. Where did that guy go? This is probably stupid of me to do this, but He's just he's just look, he's damaged. He's fighting the horde! My man, come back! Look, you just find the guy in the in the woods with a million corpses around him. Okay, I, there's no need for me to be down here. While he was doing that, I I brought the boxer up. A beautiful, absolutely beautiful dog. Brought brought him up and uh, got more windows and the roof up. And uh, I went to, it was nice. It was a good day. I went to bed. You know what they say, a man always needs more wood. Can't have enough wood. So uh, in the morning, I went out to get more wood. So uh, I started walking, looking for looking for trees to cut down. And while I was out there, I, I checked on my golem. And this man was hard at work down there. But being down here also gave me a good view of the tower. And I, I noticed that it, it didn't look great. The top was way too wide. It looked just messed up. So I got my wood, went back up, and I shaved off a row of the roof and the deck. So the deck is only two blocks wide now, which... Seems narrow. I, I assume that that would be too slim, but when you put up a like a fence piece or a little barricade or a little like a railing, you can still walk completely fine and it doesn't feel too narrow. So it was good. With the walkway dealt with, the next problem was the, the roof. It was way too low. In a fire tower, you're supposed to be able to look out the window and see fires from all around. You look out, you see, oh, there's fire over there. Oh, fire over there. Let me go, I don't know, call the fireman or something. I don't know what the person in the fire tower does. But the point is, is that this is supposed to be a big open room that you can see out of with giant windows. And right now mine was way too short. So I didn't want to do this, but I, I did it. I took the entire roof off and raised it up by one or two more blocks, just so the windows would be bigger and it wouldn't feel so cramped in here. And while I took the roof off, I realized I want to make the roof look nicer and uh, made out of a different material. And that material was going to be deep slate. The only problem was I didn't have any deep slate and that meant I needed to go mining. So I found a little spot nearby the tower. Uh, I put down a little door and I started digging. But I didn't just dig in the normal way. No, I, for some reason, started digging in the, the exact way that you shouldn't. Digging straight down and not paying attention. Oh my. Hey. I found myself in a bit of a situation here. I was. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe right here, we start going this way. Staircase style. And for good measure, put a, put a door here. I was very close. I'm gonna be honest, I, I never thought it would happen to me. I I thought that everyone was being dramatic about digging straight down. Well, guess what? Hey, it happened to me right here. I kept mining and I found a bunch of iron and eventually I made it down to deep slate. I explored a little bit, but I got scared about a zombie dropping down on my head on me from above, so I called it quits and went back up to the surface for now. 
In the morning, I, I woke up and to a man in the mountains. Look at this. What's going on up there? Why is, why is there just why is there just one random guy up there? Oh, two random guys. What are you do? Oh, hey, you have one up there, right? You have a good time. I got work to do. I spent the whole day mining, and I found one diamond and a bunch of deep slate, which was... Hey, you know what? One diamond better than zero diamonds. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but one way, hey, good to have that. Okay, next I needed glass and water, so I went back to where I thought the lake was, and I uh, discovered something weird on the way. What's this right here? Oh, there's a little house right here. Okay, I don't know what's going on in there. Why was there a little bandit child in there? What is this? Where are you? Oh, <laughs> bandit farmer. Oh, little ba Okay. Okay, so I think... I may have ruined this village of bandits. Yeah, they're all infected. Look at that, both these guys are infected now. This guy's soon to be infected. Wait, look, they have... What are they? They have zombies' heads on a pike? Weird. I, I did not add a mod for this. This is. Just... I'm scared they're gonna like touch me and infect me, even though I don't think that's how it works. But it's a weird place. <sighs> oh! 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 Yeah, this is not good. I just completely ruined that town. Look, there's an infected guy way out here. I got back and worked on the tower by putting a bit of glass up and trimming the top of it. In the morning, I got working on the roof. I was learning a little bit more about how to make it look nice by experimenting with uh, just things. Do, doing, trying different things out to make it look not so flat and boring. Okay, so let's take this out. And do something like that. How does that look? Does that look like it blends? What if I put a trap door on? Yeah, now we're talking. Right? The other option is something like this. I don't know. I think that. Just like that. Hey, it's getting detailed. I suck at building in Minecraft, and so building this little tower was teaching me a lot, and I think over time, I'm getting a little bit better at it by doing stuff like this. And you know what? I'm starting to like this tower. It's starting to come together pretty nicely, which is rare because I almost always hate whatever I make in these videos. So hey, you know what? This tower is feeling good about it. Feeling very good, and by nightfall, I had a decent amount of it built. But there was still more to do. There, there was a few things that I wanted to change up, and to do that, I was going to need wood. So I went down into the valley to get wood, and while I was just minding my own business, cutting down some trees, things got out of hand fast. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh. 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 You're not paying attention, they sneak up on you fast. Oh, oh. This happened so fast. Okay, now I'm getting scared. Here we go. I came back up and I replaced the fence pieces with trapdoors. I, I, this, I think, looks a lot nicer. It's got more character to it. I don't know. Uh, then I put some lanterns up. Things were going well. I was a man who was building. I was a man who was working on day 41. I, it was just a completely normal day. I, was, I went out and got more wood. I came back. I started working on the tower. I added, like, corner posts. I was going to start fixing or building the rest of the, uh, the cross support beams. But none of that happened because I got a horde. And very quickly, they completely surrounded the tower. Look at this massive pile of zombies. I, I wanted to look down from the ladder. And when I tried to open it, it wouldn't open. And there's only one reason why the trapdoor won't open. It's because there was a zombie on his way up. He came straight up the ladder, started 
just bashing his zombie head on the trap door trying to get in. So I, I put some floorboards down and knocked him down. And that was just one zombie. Th there was like a hundred of them surrounding the tower. And the thing about these zombies is that they don't despawn and they don't forget that I'm in the tower. So I had to deal with this. The next day I came up with a plan. It was very, very simple. I grabbed an ender pearl and launched myself off the tower and lured them to this giant pit. Okay, I gotta be quick. Come on. They're going around. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Just keep the shield up. I don't even want to look behind me right now. Come on. Look at that. Look at the pile of bodies. There's still a few more that need to be... Look at this guy just falling off the cliff. They just push each other off. They go straight down to the pile. Okay. Let's get back to back to business. That was insanely stupid. That had to be one of the stupidest things I have ever done. Yeah, but you know what? It worked, right? It worked way better than I ever could have possibly imagined. This whole situation made me realize how important building some sort of zombie defense was because right now it's just completely in the open. I, I killed a few more zombies and I went down into the mines. I got some deep slate and came back up for night. I finally got the roof built and it was a pretty simple design. It was just a lot of deep slate and then a nice little peak at the top. I was thinking I needed to put some sort of copper rod because uh, I'm terrified of lightning. I don't quite understand how lightning works in game, but I don't know, man. Put some rod up here or something. It'll look nice, all right? But for now, the, the next important thing to do was... Well, it should have been to build some sort of zombie horde defense. I wrote that in the script, and I guess I just completely moved on past that very imp important point. Uh, and so here I am trying to work on support beams, I guess. And uh, yeah, look at this. While, uh, while I'm working on the support beams, I, I was nearly bit by a zombie sneaking up on me. Oh my god. Holy. Oh. Oh, and with that, I finally clued in. Need to make this area way more safe. Start doing something about it instead of just having a tower in the open like this. So I spent the entire day doing something you would never believe, cutting down more trees. The plan was to build a giant wall around the tower, but not just any wall. I wanted the wall to look like it was a bunch of tree logs that were dug into the earth with spikes on top. And hopefully that would stop the zombies from climbing over the walls if they were high enough and if they had uh, spikes in the right spots. I also didn't want just a, a straight wall across. I, I wanted the logs to be staggered a little bit so it looks more I, realistic, like they were dug into the earth. I don't know. The only issue with building it like this is that it's going to require so many logs to do it. I was going to be a man who was cutting down a significant amount of trees. Hey, but you know what? It's going to look very good when it's done. Very, very good. Like, look at this. This small section right here. It, it took a ton of wood, but it looked, I was very, very happy with how this was looking. The next day, I just kept working. I was a man who was working away on his walls. Nothing more, nothing less. Just a man building this nice log wall. The only problem though was that there were still a lot of zombies spawning. They, they did not leave me alone. And I thought this might be because of the zombies that I had stored, I guess, in the uh, little traps that I built. I, mean, I forgot that there was a bunch of men down there still, and their moaning might have been attracting other zombies. So uh, I went on a, a zombie killing spree and killed every single zombie in the pit and every single zombie in the area. Hopefully, to not uh, would stop attracting zombies. And with that taken care of, uh, I put up more walls and I made a small potato farm. Oh, it looks taking care of my food situation before it becomes a problem. But all this tree cutting was creating problems. Most notably my axe. It was on the verge of breaking. So uh, I just made another diamond one. I spent the rest of the day cutting down more trees and then putting up more of the wall. And the following day, I was, I, was just, I was getting very sick of building this wooden wall. I was very eager to get it up. Look how many of them are in here. There's like three. No, oh, four. They just keep coming. Five, six. Hey, you know what? More the merrier. Love to have you all in my house. Oh, stressing me out. But look how many I, I. I had to cut down even more trees, but by the end of the day, I was almost done putting the walls up. 
However, I was very low on food now. So looks like I set up the farm at the, at the right time. Day 49, you know what they say about day 49? That's a day for a man to sit back and do the exact same thing he did the, the next, the whatever day was before, just cutting down more trees and then building more of the wall and uh, just thinking about not building a wall. That's what that's what they say about day 49, it's good. Day 50, I worked on the wall more, you'll never believe it. And then I just need a little bit more of wood to complete it. A little just a tiny bit more wood. But by the end of the day, I only had a small section left. And so on day 51, I woke up ready to finish the wall, but now there was, <laughs> there's more zombies. Oh. Oh. oh my, okay, okay, oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> I thought it was over. <laughs> oh, 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 they're climbing up. It's not over yet. Oh, oh. Gotta remember I have ender pearls. If I get stuck, I have ender pearls. Okay. Okay. When I turn around, and I saw zombies coming at me from both sides. I'm going to be completely honest. I thought this whole thing was over. I thought this was going to be how I died. It was, I was already thinking about what to do with the video. And I, I guess that's how it happens. People get boxed in and then it's over. But you know what? I was a man who lived to see another day. So it was all good. And don't, don't even need to worry about it. I got the rest of the walls done. And just as I finished, I got another horde. All right. How's that look? That looks good. Okay. I am feeling good. The walls are done. Got a big pile of, look at this guy. All right, see you later. But I am. Okay, I am not happy anymore. Just went from being very happy to very, that wall got built at the exact right time. Get more potatoes cooking, we need, we need a full belly here. Hey, we're gonna get through this, all right? We're gonna be fine. Just, just need some potatoes. What's going on out there? Oh! I just hear them. I don't see them. There's a few right there. All right, this horde's not so bad. Got one guy in there. I don't know what he's doing in there. Ah, my walls work. It's good. Hey, okay, there's a few coming over there. Okay, there's a. F there's a few more coming from there. That's. Alright, this is fine so far. Hey, how's it going? Can't get over my wall. Big old wall, sorry. Sorry, I spent a couple days getting this thing built so you guys can stay out there and I can stay in here. You guys have fun out there. I'm gonna get my potatoes. It's getting a little bit louder. I love my walls. Look at this, I can come down, walk around out here, feeling good. Eat some potatoes, don't even need to eat them. Oh, what is loud by that wall? It's very loud. Kind of wondering something. Yeah, see, that's what I was wondering. Look, oh, look, that's where it's getting over. Oh, maybe it's not. I think it's okay. No, they're over. They're over the wall. Spent five days making a wall, they're immediately over the wall. What was that? What's going on over here? It's like a feeding frenzy. Look how many there is. Oh, they're climbing. They're trying to get over. There's one, the only one man, the one lucky, lucky man made it over. Oh, okay, two lucky men. I gotta make this wall higher because you can't have this, you know? Look at this, they're dancing. Oh! I got a third one down there. You know what? It's a problem for tomorrow. There's more hordes coming. Well, that's getting loud. You know what? Again, not my problem. But it was my problem, right? <laughs> I don't know why it's, it was absolutely my problem. And then I woke up and I had to deal with it. I'd love to leave, but look at this. They're in, they're, why, why, wow, I went to bed for two seconds. I wake up, and my man who got in invited a couple friends. That's, what, okay, oh. There's 
the only way to deal with it. You gotta do this. I hate doing this. I hate doing this. I hate doing this. I hate doing this. Oh, okay. Yeah, here they all come. Hey, how's it going? I got like two seconds to figure this out. Oh, I don't like that platform. I was kidding, but... Here we go. Here we go. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Come on down, everyone. Come on down. No, don't stop. Come on. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Why are you stopping? Come on. Keep going. Oh, don't, don't stack up on there. Go on, come on. Let's go. Get the whole line going down. One by one. Come on down. Right, see you later. Come on down. That's how you remove a horde. It scares me so much. Because sometimes, sometimes they got a mind of their own. They, like, why, why, what else? See this guy? Just going there for some reason. Just follow everyone else. Come on. Take him down. Oh, what's going on down below? Oh! Look at that. Oh! Where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you, why are you trying different things? Just... Oh, I hate that. Also, look at this. That looks so bad. I gotta fill it in with... I gotta fill it all in with dirt. That whole side needs to be, like, cleaned up. So it doesn't just look so... It needs to look like it's part of the hill. I'm not very good at that. I love how when I approach this, all I can hear... Yeah, look at this. There's just a guy's sword swinging around there. Why are you in there? That looks way too blocky. I need to clean that up. Oh! See, see that? How they just... Oh! Two of them. That corner needs to come down, and I need to, like, extend it. I don't know. It's so hard to work under these conditions. So you're asking, is this necessary to be doing this stuff? That's got to look better now. Yeah, not bad. Once it grows in, and then if I could put some, just a few stone things in there. Oh. Okay, problem number two now is how does a man get back inside of a compromised house? Ooh, cool. Let's grab that. Never seen old cool. How does man get back in there without dying? I don't even have a door for this wall right now. <sighs> why, 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 why? There's no need for you to be here. There's no need. I'm gonna, I'll fix this later, but I need to, I don't wanna blindly enter Pearl into here. All right, how many guys we got in here? One, two, three, oh, four, yeah, why not? I thought there was more. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll, This is probably stupid. I gotta look behind me, I gotta look behind me, but I don't turn around yet. I don't need this. I don't like how they come out like Pez dispensers. I'm gonna fill that hole in because I keep. Do I have a little house here? Is it safe? I had my walls. I was a happy man, but I needed to do a bit more work. I tried putting up some fence pieces on top of the walls uh, so that it would look like spikes. I'm gonna be honest. I did not like the. I was not liking the cross supports on the tower. I they 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 look blocky and they don't look like they're actually holding any weight. So I had a new idea. I was gonna do the entire side made out of fence pieces. So at least looked like it was holding some sort of support. But I didn't want to build it out of just any fence piece. I wanted it to be out of oak so that there was a bit of color contrast between, I, I don't know, okay? I just want, I was thinking about colors. I was, often don't do that. Uh, now as a man who's learning how to build, I'm thinking about these things, thinking what color goes with what color. So uh, while I was working on it though, I, I oh, okay, oh, here I fell. Oh, 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 how are you in here? I was getting real sick of zombies being in, in this area. So I truly needed to get an iron golem walking around this area so that he dealt with any zombie that managed to get over the wall. It, it was very important that I get an iron golem built, but I also wanted to get these supports built. So I needed to decide what was more important. And while I was thinking about it the next day, I was looking through my inventory and I saw 
how much gunpowder I had accumulated from the zombies. That was, ooh, when a man like me sees all that gunpowder, he thinks, whoa, quite a bit I can do with that. Uh, most notably TNT, but I needed sand. So I figured I'd try to get some sand while I went out to look for oak for the side supports for, uh, for the tower. A really, really, really terrible sound. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. I found the village I visited before and uh, eh, sure enough, everyone was um, infected. I'm sorry, but you're infected. See? I kept looking for oak, but there wasn't any. Eventually I gave up and I started to get birch and uh, whew, almost, almost got taken out. A tree just fell on me. Holy crap! A tree just fell on me. All right, I'm not infected, right? That was a tree. Okay, I was hit by a tree. You have to be the, the dumbest man alive for that to happen. Imagine there's a zombie apocalypse, and instead of getting shot or bit or, I, I don't know, a tree falls on you, and that's how you go out. I was almost that man. But you know what? I wasn't. I survived this somehow. So I kept looking around to, to get birch. I don't know. Yeah, I also found this pumpkin. It's good. Well, I went back in the dark. So I decided that building the supports around the tower was probably smarter than building the iron golem. Now, the reason for this is because if the tower was entirely surrounded by those fence pieces, I could go up and down it and essentially have a safe place to be on the bottom floor. I was disappointed that I couldn't find oak and that I had to settle for birch. However, here's the thing. When I started making the the birch supports, I, I realized it looks a lot better than oak would look. I was actually very happy with this. Oh, nice little storm. Okay. Scares a man. Scares a man about one thing and one thing only. Lightning. I'm realizing my entire tower is made of wood. So I'm gonna stop what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna make a lightning rod. Okay, it was time to, I was immediately figuring out the lightning rods were a very good thing to have. So I set that up. I'm scared I'm gonna get hit by lightning. Will I get hit? What happens if I'm standing here? Does this work? Or is, my, is everything I just spent days... B oh! Okay. I'm sure it's fine, but that scares me. Oh! It's, cr it's cracking off out there. Now that I'm safe. Oh, it's still going. This is cozy. This is the most cozy I've ever been playing Minecraft. It's, it's went from being very cozy to... It's not cozy anymore. I'm back to being stressed out. I spent the whole day inside in the compound making the wall slightly higher and just adding railings to the top. I, I desperately need a way to divert zombies away from here though. Day 56 was a absolute beautiful day because I made a massive discovery, a huge discovery. I was looking at what you can do with gunpowder and I realized that you can make uh, mines. You just need a little bit of iron. So I, I tried them out. Okay. Here we go, put the mine down. I just gotta get them to walk on it. Okay, come on. Oh! Oh! The fire! Okay, try this. Right, come on. Oh! Look at the body's going! Come on! No one stepped on- Oh! You see him blasting! What? Oh! Oh! As soon as I saw how good they were, I, I know- I, I, I just- I, I had to make more. I needed, I needed to be a man with a ton of mines. The problem was, was that I had no idea the best way to get iron. And I figured that I'd look in a cave, so uh, I went down to the village below. Okay, well, there's water down here all along. Oh, look at this man getting the tornado. Oh! Look at all the iron right there. How can I get that? 
Need to make a door. Oh! That's scary. I really don't want to spend the night here. I would probably like to go home. Yep, I would definitely like to go home. There's just, oh my god, okay, I'm going home. Okay, there's too many. Oh, there's a bed right here though. Right? You can't sleep, there's monsters nearby. Okay, we're gonna throw that in there. Then I'm gonna grab this. And I'm gonna find a way out of here. Okay. Okay. Can I sleep here? There we go. I returned to the cave in the morning and I mined out a bunch of iron, but I was, it, it was very nerve wracking. Okay. Let's. Try to get as much iron as we can here. Remember, every piece of iron I find is another mine. Oh, this is really scary right now. Whoa! I need to get like that stuff, but I don't know. Oh, look at that! I hear something in the walls, not good. Oh, there's a lot right there. Oh, I don't like being trapped like that. How much do I have? I don't want to get too greedy. 37. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that's good. There's so much up there. No, oh, there it goes. Go all the way down. I hear it in there. Let's get over. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? Not messing around with that. Okay. Okay, that's just, that just scared me. Okay, time to go. But I'm kind of disorientated now that I've came up here. I don't exactly know. Heading for the clearing. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Why is there always just a guy out? What is that, that villager? Nope. Oh, this is a zombie. I don't know why I thought there'd be a person here. This guy who's just... Ooh, 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 he's fast. Okay. 47 iron. Iron was proving to be a very valuable resource. I can't be wasting this stuff. So I needed to make a decision whether or not I wanted to use the iron that I just got on making an iron golem or making a ton of mines. I decided that an iron golem would probably be the smarter choice and then I'd use whatever I had left on mines. So I made another iron golem. Okay, there we go. A new man. This time he can't go anywhere, so. After he was made, I went upstairs to make some mines and yeah, I was feeling good. I was a man who was very happy. Uh, that was until I went back down. How is he outside of the wall? Did he walk up my steps? And he's dead. <sighs> Come back. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I want to bring him back. Come back. Okay, I'm going to be honest here. That uh, That is totally my fault. I, I don't know why I forgot about the stairs. And <sighs> there's a lot, of, a lot of iron to waste. So I need to make another one of these guys. 
to do that, I'm going to need to go back down to that village and get some more pumpkins to car. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I also need more iron. Day 59 in the morning, uh, I went and I got the pumpkins and I carved them. Look at this. Tons of them. I can just carve them just like this. All right, there we go. I looked around for a while for iron, but I wasn't finding any. And uh, I know I could probably find some in caves, but I really didn't want to go down in the caves. It's very easy for zombies to spawn in caves and they can spawn in the staircase going up and down. It was just very dangerous to go mining. So I don't know, but on my way home, I was just a man who was in danger constantly. Okay, that was really, 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 really incredibly stupid. You know, as I threw it, I was thinking, you shouldn't have done that. I I'm getting sick of using these ender pearls. On day six here, I decided that I was going to go into the mine near my house and try to get some iron around there. I'll tell you right now, big mistake. Should not have done that. This isn't even, a this is just a hole. Is this blood on my screen going to go away? <sighs> nope, they're all still down there. They can get up. Oh! What's going on? I still hear them. Is that a body? It's bodies. Oh my! They're jamming through the door. Okay, I'll have that, I'll have that clear out and then I'm... This might not be uh... Okay, it's sounding like the horde is gonna be here. Affected by crap. Okay. I think I should just go home. But there was so much iron there. drop TNT on them. I need that iron though. I went back down into the mine and I, I had a plan to get the iron. It was going to be incredibly dangerous, but you know what? I was, I was a very desperate man. I needed this iron. Here's the plan. I, I just jumped down and started running and trying to get as much iron as I could before the herd closed in on me. Herd. What do you mean herd? Horde. Herd. Horde. Same thing. I repeated this multiple times until I felt like I could get as much as I could get without being too unsafe. I thought I had a lot, but when I checked, it was like nine iron. And then I got a horde on me. So I came up to this, uh, the surface and was overwhelmed almost immediately. I ran around and decided that uh, now was a good time to try out some of these mines again. One. That's, yeah, that's how you're at, so I'm gonna deal with them. Okay. 
a very large group right there. I'm too much blowing them up. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm very scared right now. Okay, that was not good. I got home safely, barely. So then I just tried to wait out the horde. In the morning, I scoped out the situation. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, it was not good. I was starting to think day 62 might be my last day. <laughs> might be the final day I'm doing this. Oh, there's there so many zombies outside of the tower, including this farmer zombie who had stole my potatoes. Oh, that man was doing. Anyway, so I hopped the wall and lured the zombies down into the clearing area. We'll see if they're coming. They're coming. The mines are good, but I wanted, like, if I put a mine down, I'd get two guys right now. I, there's like 30, 40, 50, I don't even know how many. It's just stressful because I gotta look behind me, like, constantly. Can't hear anything because they're so loud. And they push the bodies around with them. See, one popped up behind me. That's why I can't. I'm just getting scared right now. Oh! No! Oh! Oh! Like more are spawning. They're spawning faster than I can deal with them. They're right here. Why, what, what, what do you need to be doing right now? Come on. Yeah, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, I'm out of mines. That's why I need iron. I need iron badly. I then ran and got some more birch and put up some more supports and I added a, a bit of stone brick to the, the base to make it look a little bit more solid too. This tower was looking, I, w I was a man who was very happy with this tower. It was looking very, very, very good. The next day I went out to uh, get more birch fence pieces. I sort of gave up on getting iron, I guess, because the zombie situation was just getting out of control. Nowhere is safe. See, I thought it was safe there for one second right after I said that. Like there's zombies in the water. The water's not even safe. They're like, they're down here as well. I'm going crazy. Like you just feel like on edge the entire time. They're, they're like, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. I can't go more than like five steps. Like, look at that. They're just, they're, <laughs> it doesn't stop. I don't, this isn't even a horde. This is just normal. I made it home and climbed up my tower and made a ton of birch fences. I finally, finally, finally got the side supports down on the tower on day 64. It was feeling very good about this. Okay. That is it. I mean, this is terrible, but I need to make the floor down here like a little bit nicer or something. But now the bottom wasn't exactly nice. So I cleaned it up a bit by digging some more of it out and uh, putting some ground pieces down. I think it's all dirt. The next big thing to figure out with the tower was how am I going to get up and down it? That is not uh, just a dirt tower with a, I don't know, ladder piece on it. I wanted to have like a proper staircase that went up the side of it. So I needed to start figuring that out. The next day I left the tower to get more wood because it was very obvious that whatever it was that I was going to build, I was going to need wood for it. So I went out to do that. I don't want to go over this wall because it stresses me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I need to make some more doors. Look at that. That guy's right next to me. Yep, come down here for two minutes. The boys are going nuts. They're going, all right, you're out. Oh, my God. That, that the zombie raised up from the body of another one. Oh, my God. Why are you in here? What am I hearing right now? I 
I think they're on the roof. I think they're on the roof of my tower. Yep, they're on the roof. Okay, well, you know what? <sighs> I, I don't know. When I came back, I made a nice door in, but the, the whole the door's fine. It looks nice, but I still need to figure out the staircase because uh, I was not sure what to do here. Then I need like a walkway. I don't know how to do that. What's the design gonna be? <sighs> Well, it's gonna definitely be two of these stairs, like this, and then probably a slat. Oh, look at that. I don't want to do too much of this wood working because that might be too slow. Like, that's. It might have to be way more. Like, if you go all the way up on one side, then all the way up on the other, then all the way up, then all the way up. Then how do you do the railing? Is it like... Is it pro Minecraft's not great for... Like that, the whole way up? And we just have more supports, like these would be like... That's a huge, that's a huge undertaking. And would it be two or would it be one thick? I think it should be one. There were zombies on the roof, and I, I was terrified of walking out my door and having one of these things drop on my head while I was just working on the deck or something like that. So I kind of was unsure what to do. In the morning, next day, I just went up to the roof and killed them. That's what I should have just done at the moment when I noticed them. I don't know why it took me not to. Anyways, that's what I did. Yeah, there we go. Two guys. Three guys. Four guys. How many guys are on the roof? Oh, it's three. Okay, I, I had a plan for the staircase. I, I was gonna build it down from the outside deck and wrap it around the side of the tower. I wanted it to be very, very narrow and not, not this big, chunky, massive addition. It needed to be very low profile. It was just a bunch of kind of staircase pieces. Not not a two by two, just one, one row going straight down the side. And then once I got to the edge of it, I put some slabs down so that it was like some flat platform, I guess, and not just complete staircase up and down. Uh, and then I wrapped it around the other side and put more uh, staircases down. This establishes the raw foundation of the staircase, but it doesn't look nice yet. That was the next thing I needed to figure out. To make it look a little bit nicer, I thought maybe using some logs for supports might look nice and some fence pieces. I was just trying stuff out. Originally, the plan was to have the staircase touch down outside of the tower so that if I wanted to get up the tower, I'd walk in from the outside. But that doesn't make any sense, especially with this new safe area I have below the tower. So I, I decided to make the staircase lead inside the tower in the little safe area. I thought this looked very good. I built this small platform inside the tower, like this little, little like standing platform that the staircase connects to. And I thought, you know what? This is actually actually looking pretty good. I'm very happy with this. For once, I was actually proud of something that I had made in Minecraft. I was I was very, very happy with this entire tower. I'm, I'm shocked that it was turning out as good as it was. Uh, but then I forgot that I was in a zombie apocalypse and there was a swarm of zombies around my base. Oh, look at that. All these zombies trying to get in. I was just a man building. They were trying to get in to stop me from building. That was not good. Okay, day 68. You, you might be wondering why I have not gone to the prison yet. Well, the answer is, is Kim was still building it. That thing was being, that thing was under construction. So it was not currently in the world yet. I mean, you know what? Don't worry. It's coming. So for now, I'm just building the staircase. I wasn't, uh, I was starting to think maybe I'll just put it inside entirely so there's none of it hanging on the outside because I wasn't, the, the, the whole support system was difficult. I felt like it made the tower look less nice. Uh, so, so I just started messing with it. I don't like how there's no railing. Wait, 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 wait. What if I use trap doors? See, like here, it's kind of sketchy how there's, can you put trap doors on the side of stairs? Yeah, you can, but that doesn't really stop me from falling. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, the other option is I take, like, upside down. Like, I could use this, but it just, it doesn't, like, it floats next to them, you know? Look at that. That's not very good. It stops me from falling, kind of. Look, I can just walk right there. I feel like the staircase should almost be like inside. Then it would be a perfect sized. 
And I could just come down there. Oh no, I'd need to start it here. Okay, you need to come over here. You're getting too close. Come here. Okay, and then here. No, see, if it was one further back, but this chest is in the way, then it would be perfect. But then, the, but then I still have this gap here. Well, not really. What does it look like from down below? It looks okay, I guess. I mean, like, I'd cut that. Uh, it's still kind of just like a floating, like, staircase. Well, I could trim it with slabs, which would make it thicker. I don't know. I think what I have now is good. Now I don't have to move. This is fine. I just don't like how I can fall off. And then I gave up and just went to bed. Day 69. I spent the, the entire next day figuring out what to do with the railing on the insides of the tower. Maybe trying to make it look... I don't know. I should do an upside down staircase. Would that look better? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that's what I do. And it bolts it to the wall. Because right now it's not bolted. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what I'm gonna do. It looks good. Look at that, that looks good. I just wish there was a railing. How can I do a railing? What about gates? Can't you do weird stuff with gates? Gate. Let's do a spruce gate because I have the stuff right here. I'll get four of them and we'll see what I can do with that. It floats still. Ooh, those look good though. It has to be every other. Gate. Post. Gate. Yeah, that looks good. I should do that for up top. These things I can't see through. They're really expensive too. Post. And that I can at least look down kind of. The other ones I couldn't. Yeah, that looks way better. I should have that instead of these. Did I at least pick up the ones I just dropped? Yeah, I did. Oh, I spent so much wood on these things. Maybe I can use them on the staircase now. What if I put them in the lower piece like that? Then it goes down. At least that looks a bit better. Because at least everything's... Yeah, look at that. That's not bad. I mean, I can still walk off, but... Or should I just have railings? They don't connect. That's the problem. Like, this is good. I mean, this is not connecting to anything. It's connecting to those, and at least that way kind of it works, but that's not going up. This is going up. I guess I just gotta be careful. I was getting tired of building stuff, and I figured by now, the horde that was in the mines should be dispersed, or I don't know, just, just not clustered up in that same spot anymore. So I went down to try and uh, get some iron. This was... By far, one of the biggest mistakes I made in this entire thing. Oh! I'm gonna walk to the get this. What are you doing? Here. Okay, you stay there. Oh!
Okay. Oh. 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 I, I can feel it in my arms. Oh. For a second I thought I heard a dog barking, I was about to lose it. Close that, look at this. On again. Getting loud. Getting crazy loud down here. Oh, oh, that block coming through scared me. This is not a good situation to be in. Okay, yeah, I was backed into the corner as flaming zombies closed in on me. And as it turns out, this cave was connected to that pit that I had been dropping every single zombie into. And now, because of the sounds of the explosion from the mines and all the commotion, they were now surrounding me in this mine. And not only that, but they had completely blocked my way to the exit. So my first thought was, okay, no problem. I'll just mine to the exit, no problem. It'll be completely safe. But that was, I was having a hard time finding it, and my pickaxe was dangerously close to breaking. Is that my exit over there? That might be right there. Can I like blow these guys up somehow? Okay, I've got two mines down. Come on, go in the mine. Oh! Where's the exit? Okay, the three months have gone off. I don't know how to get out of here. It's not down there. Oh, this is horrible. Oh my. How do I get out of here? I could just dig up. I don't know why I didn't think of that. But I dug, I've dug down so far. Well, it's not bedrock down, it's just... I don't know why I didn't think of digging up. Like, I have to find the staircase. This pickaxe is gonna break. Oh, I've got... I don't even have the stuff to make. That's why I don't dig up, because I don't have a thing. Oh man, this is not good. I wish I could use that. I can't. I wish I could use that. Can you, can you bind these to make? Oh man, I'm like trapped. I don't even know how to get back, like... Okay, I have an idea. And I don't know... I don't even know if I'll be able to do it. But what I'm gonna have to do... Oh, I don't wanna do this. See, the problem is I don't even know how to get up. I'm scared of doing this. I just want the record to show that I know this is a bad idea. I'm like really thinking out everything I do here. 
basically this is the plan. There goes the pickaxe, so... Oh, I don't know if I should do this or not. Where's that torch? There it is. So, then what I should do is I'm going to open this. Okay, come on. Come on, right here. Come on. I gotta lure the entire horde. Come on. They need to see me. Yes, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm having a hard time getting up. Feel them like at my feet right there. These guys don't have a way up. Oh, he almost did. Okay, one second here. I want to get ready to move. Come on! Oh! Oh, that is getting crowded. Oh! Okay, they are... Filling up that pit. That pit is full. That pit is totally full. Why did I get myself into this? I just got a horde. As if it couldn't be worse, there's a horde now. This is gonna take me forever to do this. Oh! Oh, dirt. The last thing I really want to do right now is... I don't know how high it goes, so I'm not going to just start. I'm going to be very, very careful here. Hey, look, there's the grass right there. There's grass right there, too. I don't want to break that either. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Okay, okay, I gotta be very careful, see? Okay, there's a zombie right there. Okay, there's two zombies. Uh, there's gonna be way more because doing this. I should just stop, there's three. Just close that up. Let's go this way. I wanna try to build like a little... See that? Okay, they're spawning in. Okay, this is not good. Come out, I'm out, I'm out, I don't know where I am. Oh, it's so dark. There's lights down there. This is the, this is the clearing. So that means there's the tower! Oh. Oh my, there's so many that are. Oh! Oh! Oh, I made it! Oh! Oh! Is the sun coming up? Look how many zombies there were. That's the sun rising. By the time I made it out, it was the sun was rising on day 72. I needed wood still, so I went out to get some, and it didn't take long before tons and tons and tons of zombies spawned. 
and I was nearly overwhelmed again. It, it wasn't so many that I can't effectively do things and be trapped in my base, but it's enough that if I drop my guard even for a moment, one will tag me. So I had to be a, a very, very careful man. And on my way home, I found a massive, massive pit outside of my house. There's an iron right there. <gasps> Look at this pit. Oh, I gotta do something with that. I gotta do something with that for sure. Look at this. This is the pet that you want. What was that guy doing? So what we need is some sort of diving board for them. And push them down. Perfect. Okay, we'll have a come out one more. Like that. I gotta do this quick. I wanted to use this pit to my advantage, and I had a plan. I was gonna dig a tunnel below the wall out to the pit from the tower. And then I would just walk over to the pit whenever there was a horde and have them all drop down there. But before I started working on that, I, I worked on the tower a bit. I used the wood I got to make spruce gates, and then I mixed them with spruce fences to make a new railing at the top of the tower. Then I worked on the railing on the sides and made it look really nice. I was very happy with how this t tower was turning out. I know I've said that, but I cannot express I usually hate everything I build in a 100 days video. For once, I was like, look, this tower, ooh, looking very good. Very, very, very good. And I was thinking, hey, my boxer up there must be happy too with this beautiful tower being built. This was, I was one happy man with all this stuff. And with that taken care of, I started figuring out how to make the tunnel work. My plan was to have some sort of caged walkway from the tower to the pit so that zombies would see me and follow me and just hopefully fall in the pit. But there were still, there was still some problems though, because zombies were still spawning in my compound, and I didn't want to risk coming this far and being bit inside of my little fortress here. So I thought I'm going to make the tunnel, I'm going to access the tunnel from the tower. I'm not going to walk out into the compound. It's going to be all done from the tower. So I started making by a frame out of spruce logs for the door would go. Uh, then I added a door. I then added more spruce logs along the path, like the, the top of it, uh, for where the tower would connect. And then lastly, I filled in the sides with some spruce fences or some birch fences after or whatever. It was looking very nice. I was very happy with how this was looking. The only problem was I needed to figure out the roof. At first I used dirt because I thought it would look natural and kind of like dug into the earth. But then I thought trap doors might be nicer because they would look like, I don't know, like little pieces of wood supporting the dirt. The problem with the trap doors is that because of the physics mod, they kind of move when you stand on them. And I tested it by standing on one. I didn't fall through, but I was worried that if there was like five zombies on it, they, they might fall through. I don't know how the mod works, but I, was, I wasn't taking any chances and gambling 73 days of playtime on it. So he, all it took was one man to fall through and then it was all over for a man like me. So the next day I yanked him out and put dirt in there. I thought that maybe I could put like trap doors under the dirt to make it, I, I don't know, but it just didn't look very good. So I ended up just adding dirt around the tunnel and then I tried to make it, I don't know. I was gonna try, try to make this whole thing look a little bit more natural. I even added this little like small dugout area that maybe I'll put a zombie in a name or something eventually, I don't know. A little cage down here. Anyways, this is exactly why I need the cage in the hallway. Look, look I got jump scared by a zombie. Oh. It scared me. I kept working on this all day long and I was really liking how it was turning out. While I was typing out notes for day 74, which is not paying attention to my computer screen, I was on my laptop typing out everything you just uh, heard me say. I had no idea that the herd was for, there, there was a ton of zombies outside the wall. Okay, they're really getting, how many zombies are out there? Oh, really? I saw the shadow of a zombie on the roof. And while I was working on the floor down there, I th I thought I heard thunder. And there was like a storm approaching. Well, it turns out, no, that is not a storm. That was, uh, that was a bunch of zombies bashing in my door to get inside. Okay. Okay. I, I thought I heard thunder. Turns out they're just blasting the door. I ran upstairs and took shelter while I figured out how many got in. Okay, I, I had to deal with this horde. There's just so many, constantly. Oh yeah. Okay. 
I, I gotta get these guys out of my house. Oh man, there's some. Oh! There's my door! Okay, the game's gonna. There's so many zombies, the game's. I gotta do something about this. Oh! Oh! How are you getting in? Is there a hole in the wall or something? The game's not even loading blocks because there's so many zombies. Look at the... Okay, come on. Come on, everyone, come on down. All right, shield up. Are they dying when they hit the ground? Most, some of them are. Come on down, everyone. I didn't even get a horde. This is just build up. All right. Everything good now? Oh my God. Oh, I, th I, always th I thought I was just gonna fall in the hole there. This guy doesn't even have arms. I remember when this was a forest. After they were all taken care of, I went out to the clearing, which is now massive from all the trees that I had taken down. I didn't even realize how many trees I'd cut down. And uh, I came home and started looking into ways I could possibly burn zombies. Thought my best course of action would be just to get some flint and steel and maybe figure out, like, light some logs on fire outside of my base or something like that, or find some nether rack from one of the nether portal. I don't know. I need a flint and steel, though, so I went out to look for flint. I don't even want to go in the water because I feel like there's going to be zombies down here. Yeah, right there, right there. See? You can't even hear them that well in the water. I got flint. That's what I wanted. Look right here. Oh, well, I gotta jump. The haunted forest is right here. Part of me wants to know if there's anything good in there. But look how scary that looks down there. Oh, look how big these trees are. <gasps> Pumpkins! I don't really need them anymore, but... I'm gonna die if I go any further. I don't, want, don't want to be doing this. It's way too risky being down here. When I came back, I uh, worked on the hole a little bit more. Oh, okay. Oh, those guys are there. Hey, there's iron right there. That guy looks like Kim. I have an idea for this horde. It involves these too. Coming from the woods. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till there's a lot of them. I'm gonna get a ton of iron and a ton of resources this way. Oh, okay, I got over. Okay, that was a lot of them. I'm gonna wait for one more wave and then I'm, I'm going for it. That was so many. I don't want to fall here. Okay, this could be really dumb or it could be really smart. This is the best way to get rid of the horde. Here we go. Oh! Oh! There's a bandit right there. What? <laughs> Why are you here right now? Okay, you know what? You can have the horde. Look at all of them. There's two bandits. Why is there gonna be bandits right now? Okay, the horde needs to come. Come on.
All the bandits. Oh my god, okay. They're gonna get consumed by the... My base is on fire! I gotta put that fire up! There's so many zombies. This is not good. Okay, I can put it out, I can put it out. Oh no, let's catch it. It's gonna catch the staircase on fire! I gotta get to the base before the, the fire spreads to the tower. Okay. It's I'm lagging so bad right now. Okay, the fire's not moving. I gotta get up, I gotta get into the tower. Oh, look at them, look at them fly! I still have time, it's not, it's moving slowly, it's moving very slowly, okay. There's so many zombies. Every time one goes off, I, I only get like one. Okay. Gotta stop the fire, stop the fire. The walls are going up! It's so laggy from all the zombies in the fire. There's still so many coming. I can repair the wall, I can fix the wall. They're, they're flooding in. Drop it! Oh! Look at that! There we go, another one. I'm out of TNT. Can I, do, I, do I have stuff to make more? I, I kind of wish I had more TNT. Sand? Is that, all the, is that all the sand I have? I can make two more. I can make two more. Come on, everyone flood in. There we go. Look at that. Come on, everyone flood in. Let's go I'm over here. There's not that many left. How many more are there? It didn't, it didn't seem like there was that many when I walked up. I want to get those ender pearls. There's only a few more left. I'm just trying to get the stragglers now.
Come on. Come on. Oh, they took out the tree. Oh. 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 I gotta see the damage. Well, I've lost most of my wall. And all of that. And that tree's on fire. Look at all of that stuff, though. There's so much TNT and gunpowder and everything in there. But I don't think I can get it. Actually, there's not that many zombies. Maybe I should just go down and kill them. Oh, that's what I did last time and I got out of hand. There's still mines out here. No, everything's de- ah. My walls are destroyed. It's a villager. A dead villager right here. Look at that. Look at the way this guy's laid out. Where'd those- Oh, whoa. Gotta be careful. Step on that, I'm dead. Okay. Yeah, after that battle, I, I added some more blood to my Albert Einstein sweater. We're leaving this place. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Oof. Because I don't want to rebuild this. I don't want. I don't want to spend another like ten days, five days, or whatever, just chopping down wood and rebuilding. I got wood, yeah. I, I just don't want to do it. All right. And you know what? This was perfect timing because Kim had just finished building the prison. He had uh, finished building it and pasted it into my world. So you know what? Go. He made a video where he built this entire prison. Go watch his video. All right. Go. Oh, it's it's very cool. Anyways, it was now placed in my world. I told them to put it somewhere in this giant spruce forest and then just tell me the general direction it was in. It, it was day 80. And I didn't want to spend another like 10 days searching for this thing. So he just told me that it was, he told me the general direction it was in and it was somewhere in this spruce forest, all right? But before I leave, I wanted to do a, just get a bit more iron to replace the mines I used. So I went back down to the mine. Oh, jeez. What is that guy doing? Get me quick in here. I'm getting that iron. Just going quick. Not even thinking about it. Just going. Just going before I see anything. Get him out of here before he starts making all this noise. And here's the iron. Here's the iron that I nearly died over. How much was it? How much did I risk my life for? Seven iron. Maybe I peek around a little bit. <gasps> Nine. There's some good stuff here. I'm gonna go in here. Oh, that bat scared me. Okay. Gold. I got stuck doing this exact same thing last time, so I'm gonna. <gasps> More iron right here. Oh, oh, oh. We're not doing it again. I'm not doing it again. There's no way I'm doing this again. Get the iron and go. Get the iron and go. Get the iron and go. 15. I'm out of here. What is this weather? <gasps> oh, 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 I almost stepped right in there. When I got back up, I cooked the iron and made a, a bouncing Betty. I didn't even know I could make one of these things. I want to see if this thing, this might be better than a regular, I don't know. So I made more mines also, and then I almost forgot that it was day 81, meaning that there was, hey, another horde, why not? Send more in. I have no idea when this horde's going to start. I just... If I remember from before, it's like in the late afternoon, so I think I have time. To, I, I hope I have time to do this. If it starts now, I'm one dead man. 
But if it starts in about five minutes, ooh, I'm gonna be one alive, man. Try to do this as fast as possible. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you... Stressing me out. Look at this dead squid. My oh, poor guy. Okay, okay, okay. How much time do I have? I have no idea. Keep asking that, I don't know the answer. Grab this, grab this. I wanna be able to see what's going on down here. Closing these up. It's closing that up. Okay, next up, how much TNT can I make? TNT, here it is. Oh, 10, beautiful. Now the only step left to do is put this like here, and then I wait. We're gonna be good. Ah, according to my calculations, it should be perhaps 22.6 seconds before the horde starts, but my calculations may be wrong. But they never are, so, well, it turns out they are wrong. Ah, I stand corrected. But perhaps Kimberly over there will shed some light on what I, what am I doing right now? Focus. All right, they're coming. You ready? Oh, we haven't given this, given this man some meat or anything like that. Here, does he like flesh? I can't remember. He like flesh? Here you go. Hey! We'll get more of that later, okay? Beautiful boxer. All right, there we go. Sit and wait. Okay, here we go. They're coming. There's gonna be like 300 zombies here. And I'm gonna wait for all of them to be right there. And then what happens after that? You don't even wanna know. Look at this. They're all, look how many, there's, there's one in diamond armor. Look at me. There's a guy with a bloody sweater. Oh, not just any guy, I'm Albert. Stop, stop, can't be doing that right now. Look. Oh! This way, this way, this way. Do not be doing that over there. Come over here. Look, look how many zombies are coming. That's one wave. There's like six waves that are gonna come. The sound just broke. There's too many for the sound to even work. Oh, there we go. See, this is why I opened the holes, because you, like, you still got idiots who can't figure out to take one step up and then just walk forward. Got that door open. Got that door. Got that. There's a whole bunch of holes everywhere. Look, come on in. Okay, that's uh. I'm gonna kind of try to space them out a little bit because it kind of freaks me out when they're all in one. That is a that look how many zombies are there. Oh, 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 almost I was going over the edge of there. Like, look at this. Imagine falling into that. I'll be there. Now here they all come. Look how many more are coming from the woods. Look at this. How many do you think are here? Oh, look how many are coming in right now. You know, the game's starting to lag, so we're going to get the first strike right now. Here we go. Ooh. Okay. I got the lever right here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that. There you go, another one. There we go. Oh! Look at the body's just falling into the pit. Another one. Look at the look at the body just flying up in the air. Look, that guy's that guy got blasted right out. These guys just spread out. I desperately need as much of that gunpowder as I can get. Look, there's this there, it's there, it's... Here they come. How many more waves is there? Look at that ball, he's getting... What is going on? He's becoming a zombie of a zombie. Reanimating twice. There we go. There's so many of them. I don't want to. What? They just don't stop coming. I just gotta be patient. I gotta sit and wait for more, and then I'll use it. Oh! 
Whoa! Look at that! I mean, we're flying. There's still so many of them. The air is quiet, okay. Drop that down there. Someone just hit a mine over there. Look at this. Flying out of this. How many more are down there? I'm using everything I got here. And you know what? It's the last few bits. You get in there. Come on. Going to bed. In the morning, I'm getting my gunpowder. After that massacre, I. Albert's sweater was even more bloody. I'm a man who can't keep doing this. I'm getting so covered in blood from these vile creatures. This is getting disgusting. It's time for me to leave. Oh, wait, wait, what am I doing right now? Ah! Oh! Oh! That scared me. Oh, I'd only been out here. Oh! 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 Okay. There's so many still. Okay, how many else? Who else over here? I'm trying to deal with this whole situation fast. Any, any other guys hiding anywhere? Okay, there's how many guys? There's two of them down there. Oh, oh, see, see, I go, I go to get down, look, another guy. Oh, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do, I'm running out of time. Oh, if I jump down there, I'm going to have to fight them in a small arena. Do I, I don't have a bow? Where's my bow? A bow would have been extremely useful right now. Oh, oh what do I do, what do I do? There's an enderpearl, do I just jump? I'm just going for it. Oh! That wasn't that bad, that wasn't that bad, but now it's getting out, now it's getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out, getting out. Someone's gonna drop on my head, someone's gonna drop on my head. They're gonna drop on my head. Oh. See? Fuck, they're dropping down. Okay. Okay. Okay, what did I get from all that? One ender pearl. I already used one. An iron shovel. Three iron and 18 gun. I used like a stack of gunpowder on that. Okay, well, you know what? At least I'm alive. That's what matters. Once I had everything, I was ready to leave the tower. It, not permanently, just for now, until I go loot the prison and clear it out and make it safe. And then I'll figure out whether I want to live in the prison or bring the supplies back to the tower. I needed to see what state it was currently in before I make that decision. So I grabbed what I needed, said bye to the boxer. Not, there's no way I'm bringing the boxer to the prison. That would be just a recipe for disaster. So I left, started running, and uh, I knew the general direction I was in, but not the precise location. And as I was running there, I started thinking about, you know, there's other good places that you could survive in a zombie apocalypse. And I thought of the absolute best one. Think about the two that I've done so far. Island and Firewatch Tower. What would you get if you combined both of those into one? An oil rig. It's a truly amazing holdout. You don't need to worry about storms is because you, you, if you're on a boat, you gotta worry about storms. Don't need to worry about that. You don't need to worry about people getting on the island. You don't need to worry about people like sneaking up on your fire tower. Oil rig, absolutely perfect place to hold out. You can't beat an oil rig. But you know what? I did not think of that until day 82. So there will be no oil rig in this video. However, if this video gets 15 million likes and 27 billion views, I will create a real zombie virus. And in real life, I will test out my theory. Okay, anyways, I was chugging along this, uh, looking for the prison, and eventually I found it from the back. I was kind of hoping that I'd walk up from the front, and uh, so yeah, don't worry about that. For a quick little run around to the side, noticing that my frames were dropping, which means there's probably, probably a lot of zombies in there. I looked at it from the front. There it is. Get out of the hole. Get out of the hole. Okay. Look at this. The prison from the walking. God, I just wanted to look at the. Like, look at. How many zombies are in there? 
I can't. And here they all come. They're all leaving. Okay, perfect. Get them all out of the prison this way. Just get them after me right early. It, it was way too late to go in now, so I slept in this little island in a river. I made my way back to the prison without a... Didn't really have much of a plan. I sort of just hacking at zombies, thinking maybe I could just kind of slowly kill them as they poured out. Oh, it's going to... Start hitting me. Once I started to get overwhelmed in the one area, I moved on to the next and uh, I did more. Crazy, I'm just slicing these things down. A lot of them are coming. Eventually, I ran back and slept because this is, I guess, this plan was not gonna work. I need a better plan. Right when I woke up, I was jumped. Oh! Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. These bandits. You guys gotta okay, relax. You all need to relax big time right now. I'm bite one of them in the neck. Oh, good blast. Hey! Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that. Look at the way their bodies just fall out. This man's just floating there. What's going on here? Look at this guy. Just face first into a tree. But you know what? Hey, I had a plan now. Uh, and it was pretty similar to how I dealt with the last horde. Coming like this. Fly in here, see what we're dealing with. Oh! Just try to cut down as many as I can right in the courtyard. Okay, that was really dumb. How many zombies are in here? Oh, look at all that. Look at this, this is a crossbow. Daryl crossbow. Knockback 2, piercing 4, power 3, quick try. Whoa, that is good. That's very, very good. Let's try one of this thing, though. All right, here we go. Okay, that's, that's a lot of arrows to take down one zombie. Okay, that guy's still standing. Getting a little bit crazy down there. Okay, here's my plan. Watch this. First of all, get rid of these. Getting a little bit worried about. Okay, hold on. That's what I'm worried about. Ooh, that's what scares me. They're making a big zombie tower. Yeah, okay, but it's fine, because watch this. Four logs. I'm gonna throw out potatoes here, don't need them. Take this. Yeah, are they getting close? Okay. Lever. We're gonna throw out this flush. Look at this. Four TNT. I think you know where this is going. Okay. Now I wanna see how good this crossbow is. Oh, you can just hit like multiple people. Look at that. Okay, come on, everyone out. Come on out from the cell blocks. Let's go, everyone. There's a huge pile we got here. Okay, everyone's standing right here. Ready? Is it everyone? Everyone? No one? No one little stragglers around anyway? Here we go. Look at that. Everyone get in the hole? Do that again. Keep doing it. Look at the body slime. Look at the door got blasted off. Do we have any random ones? Do this. Get them with the crossbow. Look, look at all the bodies just scattered. Like 
cleared the entire prison just now? There's a few small random zombies. When it was clear, I jumped down and started looting. Let's clear up these spawners. Look at this. I don't know how many are inside still. But I can fight them as they come out. I'm just gonna watch. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> Where are my mines? Where are my mines? Gotta keep moving. And netherite brown dye. Why don't you do that? Netherite. Oh, look at all this stuff. There. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Why is there brown dye? What was Kim doing with that? Eventually, I went inside and looted a bit more, and then ran out and slept in a watchtower. Hey, okay, day eighty-five. Uh, I was thinking that I had killed most of the zombies now, so I climbed down and started looking around, started looting. I killed a few more zombies, but nothing like it was before. There was just a few leftovers. They're breaking down that door. How many are in there? You know what? Come on out. Hey, they're all, of course they all missed the mine. Come on, someone walk on the mine. There we go. I walked along the entire perimeter of the prison and I sealed up all of the, the like fence pieces with uh, cobblestone for now. Eventually I'll use like proper bars or something like that. I also got rid of as every single spawner I saw. There's no way I want spawners in my yard. So I just got rid of as many as I could. And lastly, I walked into the main cell block from the show and looked around. But I was very nervous about doing this because it was still dark in here and I didn't know if there's any zombies hiding about and I didn't want to, I, I don't know. I was, I was nervous about a zombie sneaking up behind me and biting me. So I walked outside and there was one last thing that I wanted to look at before I slept for the night. And that was the flipped bus by the entrance. So I walked over to it and uh, took a little look inside. The flipped bus, I just realized what that was. What's it? <laughs> that was it. Just like that, I was bit. I wasn't torn up in a horde, I wasn't shot. I was looking in a bus, and one snuck up on me. I, that's... That is how it happens, I guess. Just... Just like that. With one single touch from a zombie, because I had let my guard down for one second, it was over. I was infected, and I was gonna die. I had been lucky so many times in this. And I guess... I guess luck runs out. So I walked into the woods and slept. Realistically, I had achieved everything that I wanted to. I raided the prison. I built I built something that I was very proud of, and although it did get destroyed by the end, I was still very, very proud of it. I, I killed a massive amount of zombies without using lava. And most importantly, I found a boxer dog in game. But then I got bit on day 85. So before I died, I wanted to walk back and say bye to the dog. So I did. My man. I've returned. Listen to me. And listen closely. It's up to you now. To build these walls. And turn this into a safe place. Well, according to my calculations. And approximately... One minute and 18 seconds, I will enter the third stage of the infection, at which point I become very hungry. I hope you too will take notes and look to the stars and dream of calculations. You're a very good dog. I'm getting sad right now thinking if I had to say goodbye to my dog. I don't have this, it's just making me sad. Okay, it's making me real sad right now. Realistically, I would have spent the last 13 days building something boring, like building walls around the prison or making a new farm. Instead, I will die as an infected man. 
I thought to myself, if I ever did get infected, I was going to jump off a cliff before the infection took over. But now that I was infected, I kind of kind of wanted to see what would happen. What would Albert Einstein would become? Zombie Albert Einstein. So I was going to going to let this infection play out. So I went to bed one last time. I realized that I didn't want my boxer to be stuck in the tower with me once I reanimated. So I brought him down and locked him out so he wouldn't be trapped in with me. I'm, I'm, I'm... They're gonna be free now, okay? I'll give you some more flesh. But you can't be up here with me, alright? Don't try to get in. Don't follow me. I started thinking about if this happened in real life and I had to, I had to let my dog go out of a tower and she would be, she'd be trying to get back. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get sad if I, if I start thinking about this too much. It's so sad. This is, it's not real, okay? It's a dog in game. This is not happening with my real dog. So I don't need to, I don't need to be thinking about this. I went back up and said my goodbye. One minute. If I have to leave you with one last message, it's to study what happens to me. And please, Try to find a cure. I, I've been doing a pirate voice for the last two days, so I kind of forget how to do the Albert Einstein voice. I don't think this is how I started with it. Uh, e equals MC squared. Okay, there we go. Robert, this is a message for you. I don't know. I can't, Honestly, I forget what the message is, Robert. So, yes. I guess I, I will not be giving you a message. Need one last potato. 15 seconds now. This is it. Would have been very nice to get at least a day 90, but you know, day 87, not so bad for an old man. Covered in blood. Goodbye. Oh, no, it, it is not, not quite time yet. I need another five more minutes. You know what? <laughs> hey, you know what? Maybe I'm getting day 88, even though everything on my screen is starting to look a little bit green, a little bit weird. I'm one sick man right now. Everything's going green. As I was sitting there waiting for the infection to uh, finish me off, I was starting to think, hey, you know what? Maybe I should have maybe I should have made that uh, infection take 13 in-game days in the config file. I would have got to day 100 if I did that. But uh, here I was, sick Albert Einstein. Yeah, there he goes. Just flopped on the floor. Look at that! It's infected Albert Einstein. Hey, there it is. A man dead on day 87. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I am very nervous about not making it the full 100 days and uploading a video on it. But you know what? The whole point of this video was to simulate a real zombie apocalypse and to see if the holdouts that I chose would work and if I could make the full 100 days without getting bit. And the thing about this particular theme is that it would have been relatively easy to fake and i'm sure there's people in the comments who have probably are, are assuming that uh, already but i died i got bit on day 87 and that's how i went out the point of this was to see if i could have survived the 100 days in a realistic zombie apocalypse and you know what i'm challenging everyone to do it as well i'm gonna have the mod pack hopefully ready by the time this video is uploaded if not it might be a few days later but the mod pack is there i want to see if you can survive 100 days without getting bit by a zombie. So go ahead, make a video on it. You don't need to email me a hundred times asking if you can do it. Uh, the, just make the video and I don't know, tag me in it or something. This was a lot of fun. I, I, I theoretically could go back and re-record the entire thing and get to 100 days, but my reactions wouldn't be the same. They wouldn't be as genuine. I had a lot of fun making this and I, I hope that comes through in the footage. We might do another big scenario with everyone where we do this mod pack, where if you get bit once you're you just become a zombie and then you get to roam the world with it. I don't know. Let, let me know if you want to see more stuff like that in, this, in the comments. All right. See you later. I've been rambling on at the end here. I don't even know what. Hey, see you later.